It's been way too long. Let's let's get let's get some live stream going here. What is going on in the house? Oh. Was the music playing? Was the music playing during that? Get my get my situation here. Uh, you guys are delayed now. Your the chat is so delayed. Oh, oh. All right. This is exciting. This is very exciting stuff. I'm always on time, baby. If you're not early, you're late. Cool. Okay. So the music was playing. That's good. It's always, it's been like more than a month since I've done a live stream. So it's been way too long, way too long. <laughs> Richard Dillon checking in with the dollar ninety nine. Thanks, man. So let's do this. So uh, since it's been so long, uh, when you spam the chat, I will immediately ban you. So say it once. I, I'm reading everything. Let's uh, let's make some examples out of people here. <laughs> Portugal. Yeah, this T-shirt is uh, from Yuba Expeditions in Downeyville. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hey, Tim Cat, what's up? Got to run to a meeting. I'll be back in three to four hours to see how things are going. It. it we will be going very, very long on this bad boy. You guys know it. Sweet, okay, super chat thing popped up, good. It's It's been so long, it's been so long. I know, I am slacking. I actually miss doing these live streams. It gets me so pumped up, like just uh, getting here, ready to go with you guys and, uh, and hanging out, it's awesome. Uh, meet and greet at San Jose. What kind of uh, what kind of trails are out in San Jose? What's up from the Ukraine? Eh, we got a Patreon uh, pledge. That's awesome. I'm never sure. Uh, I always come back to this like whole setup like later on after. And oh man, you guys are freaking killing me with the the super chats already. U UK trip was epic, dude. Remus, thank you, thank you, uh, DJ Rogue. I can't fake you, Josh. Come on. Hey, giveaway. I see Jerolim Ger with the giveaway joke. He's always in with the giveaway jokes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get in here. Everyone's gonna trickle in. Hey, Adam, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Adam Davis checking in from Kenya, my buddy that I rode with. I hope you guys have seen those Kenya videos, dude. Revs, it's still hot and sunny in the UK. I've heard. I've been seeing some different. Uh, I've been seeing some different uh, like what are they, Instagram stories like from Georgia Leslie, and she's she's dying. Okay, let's catch up. I, I I refuse to be buried in super chats. We're gonna go. I'm gonna read the real chat. I'm gonna read the super chats, and we're gonna make it through this. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. Maximo, Maximino, Sita, thank you for the two dollar super chat. Mr. Tonko, what's up, dude? I got your stickers. I should uh should have had them on the screen here. I love how easy the transfer installs. Should be your shortest live stream ever. No pressure. Well, that's okay because if I crank through the transfer dropper post install super quick, I've got all kinds of other shit I need to do too. So. And you know I'm, I'm here to hang out. I'm here to 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 just just hang. I have ridden uh, Tamarancho, Aiden. I, I rode that on my Yeti SB6 test ride. I need to get back to Tamarancho and China Camp. I haven't done a video on China Camp yet, though. <clears throat> Biking with Panda. I saw you were camping out at uh, at a bike park, dude. Ten dollar Canadian. Thank you. Hello from road trip. Going to hit a black diamond DH for the first time. Should I send it? Will I survive? Will I love it? Well, you'll have to check out his channel to, to do it. Russia in the house, nice. I wish I could pronounce Cyrillic uh, letters, but, uh, oh, bonjour de Quebec. Thank you, Border Bike Jack, welcome. Mountain Bike Advice with the $20 super chat. I like the logo, dude, that is uh, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Travis, my bike is a 29er. Isaac Edwards in the house. What was better of a Spain trip or the UK trip? You guys are gonna just cut to the chase, huh? <sighs> The thing about the Spain trip, Basque MTB, is that it's an all-inclusive thing. You just go, you just show up, and it's all taken care of. Like, if you wanted to do the UK trip, you could do the UK trip. If you wanted to do the Spain trip, you couldn't just go to Spain and do the same thing. So, by that account, I think Spain is better, because there's so much more you can do. Guten Tag! I see you over there. South Africa, Germany, South Af multiple South Africans in the house. I do want to ride Quebec, and I'm hoping to get there this summer, actually. Hell yeah. Latvia. Dude, this is crazy. When you go noon on the West Coast, you can hit so many people. It's friggin' awesome. Germany in the house. 
Christian Seha asks, uh, most, he notices that most riders are thinner. Does it have its advantages to weigh less as opposed to being a heavy rider? Yes, of course. Like if you look at the best riders in the world, they're pretty skinny. Like a lot of the enduro guys are like pretty buff and stuff, but skinny, it, it does help. Uh, you know, when you're trying to shave weight, you're always trying to go a little faster by shaving weight. So it does help, but do you, man, who cares? Like if you're having fun, if you're out there, if you feel like you're fit and you feel good and you're a big dude, it is what it is. It doesn't matter. Brazil, Netherlands. Okay, let's check in. Everybody's checking in. Netherlands, Norway, Finland. Holy moly. Are you kidding me? Tommy's in the house. Spain in the house. We got some Europeans in the house, dude. Uh, all the Americans are at work right now, but I'll be going long enough that uh, that'll that'll get uh, that'll get taken. It was 31 degrees in Britain. <laughs> Holy shit, Daniel, it's crazy. That tourist with the $5. Meet and greet San Jose, Allen Park, Almaden, Santa Reese. Wow, okay, there's a lot of good places then, that tourist, cool. Thank you for the suggestion, man. Arkansas in the house, Croatia. Luisa Bike Park in Portugal. I wanna get to uh, Portugal for sure. Sure. Haha, <laughs> Seth's new hardtail looks sick. South Africa, I'm seeing a lot of South Africans. Either you guys are spamming or there is a South African contingent in the house. Denmark, Greece, Barbados. Oh, Malcolm, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Czech, Binland, Binland Germany, of course. San Bernardino. Oh, Revs, you're in Yorkshire? I didn't know that. Yorkshire. <laughs> Jessica T in Texas, what's up, Jessica? Hey, Worldwide Cyclery in the house, good to see them. That is the video I'm actually editing right now, is the, the suicide trail. I went back to the suicide trail uh, with Worldwide Cyclery and it was friggin' sweet. Spoiler alert, my bike kicks fucking ass. <laughs> Israel, Edmonton, Placerville. Hell yes, hell yes, Central Florida. How many people do we have on this son of a bitch? This is fantastic. You guys ready to watch me just suffer away? I'm just getting, I'm getting ready to suffer. I'm getting ready to suffer. Get the, I'm gonna get my frame shot, uh, my shot framed up here. Look at my little window so I can see where my bike is. England, 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 England. Bam that guy! Doesn't he know we're not supposed to spam in the chat? Eh, put him on timeout. Doesn't have to be banned. My. God, there's a lot of people, and active. A lot of people active, just friggin' letting their voice heard. Hell yes, thank you guys for showing up. That's what it's all about, showing up. Uh, Al Fairfield, nice in the hat. The Schwalbies, dude, I got the Schwalbe on the front, but the, so I had the Attics compound, I had Hans Dampf up front, no, Magic Mary up front, Hans Dampf in the back. Man, there's still people checking in, holy crap, this is, Never ending. You guys are awesome. I I haven't seen the chat this crazy before. So I've got the Hans Domp up front. No, Magic Mary. Magic Mary up front, like the, the super gravity, big, burly uh, tire. And then I've got the, uh, I had the Hans Domp in the rear. That tire got torched almost immediately. Like it was only a couple months in and that tire got almost completely torched. So I've got the, Ma I've got the Ma Maxxis Minion back on there the uh, 2.5 wide tire DR, DHR2. Quincy in the house, Quincy, California. 675 folks on the, sh on the stream. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So first step, I'm gonna have to clean the bike a little, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like be able to watch the chat while I clean the bike because it's so freaking dirty right now. Hey Google, turn the lights on in the shed. You got it. Turning on the Nuggetorium light. That's a little bit better, huh? So, yeah, I don't know if it's easy to see or not, but this is like, I just very much destroyed after only a couple <laughs> couple months. Ditlev, good to see you. Ditlev Kentig in the chat, as always, with some some Danish kroners. I appreciate that. I feel like I've got a little bit of a lag here. Uh, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Teague. Benicia Valet in the house. Good stuff, man. Welcome. Welcome. We'll deal with the lag. It's all good. Oh, Miguel, what's up, dude? Good to see ya. 
He saw Miguel on the trail in Downeyville. He was like, who's this dude with the short sleeves? Oh wait, that's Brian. <laughs> yeah, I've got these like smart, like, smart switches uh, hooked up and everything. So I'm all about uh, Google spying on our life and, uh, <laughs> and uh, making our lives better, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna break out Brian's generic ass cleaner here. No, that was real. That was real. that was not fake. That was real. This is just dish soap and water. The uh, Rafe, the compound is the orange compound. The uh, soft, so it's soft compound. So obviously, it's a little. Uh, it's gonna wear out a little quicker. Didlev with another eighty-nine Danish kroners. Thank you, my man. I am, hey, MTB Scotland, what's up, man? I am sold on the coil. I like it. I just oh, don't worry yeah. about it. I, I just don't think about it. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's, <laughs> it's so nice. Some Norwegian kroners. See, we got, I know there's oh, yeah. Danish kroners. There's Swedish kroners. Now we got some Norwegian kroners in the house. Thank you, Trolls 206 for that. Thank you, moderators, as well, for uh, getting these guys... Uh, who are spamming the chat. I, do, I can do a pretty good job with, you know, with keeping up with the chat and answering questions. So, you know, answer, ask once, maybe ask it again in 10 minutes or so if I miss it, but, ah, shoot. Got a splinter there. But yeah, try not to uh, spam the chat. What's up, Charlie? Good to see you live. If you, uh, if you've been waiting for the stream to start, you might want to reset, like refresh the page real quick, and you might actually catch up. Because I feel like there's a bunch of people that are like, uh, like a little bit behind. Like they're only now just realizing, oh, you use Google to turn on the lights. But uh, eh, do what you got to do. It's all good. We're here. We're hanging out. Darren Dreg, two pounds. Thank you. Hello from the UK. Thanks, man. The UK was fantastic. How you guys been enjoying those videos or what? Friggin'. I can't believe that we got, I got 13 videos out of that UK trip. It was frigging insane. The weather was pretty much perfect. There was two days where it rained and uh, it was amazing. <laughs> I got a splinter from my wooden bike. I think it was inside this uh, rag. <laughs> the Forest of Dean was cool, Finn. It was really cool. Ah, Austin is going to be tough to get to. It's going to be way too... Uh, Way too hot. Okay, good call, Panda. Click on that live button if you're not uh, if you're not live. Dude, this color is sweet. I actually saw on Instagram somebody who got uh, the same bike as me but inverted the colors, and uh, so it's like this grayish, dark thing was the main color, and then this was like the alternate color, and it was very cool. Yeah, you like the uh, bike park whales videos, Dewey? Thank you. The Scottish rides were the best from MTB Scotland, clearly. What's up, Cranky Trails? Lucas, I've seen your question, Enduro or Trail, over and over, and I don't, I don't even really under, understand the question, but let's say Enduro so you stop spamming the chat. We got 700 people in here. Anders, Lily Jordet, literally, Lily Le, Le, Le Jordet, <laughs> with the 22 Norwegian kroners. This is a battle of the kroner right now. <laughs> Come to Phoenix at 112 degrees. Oh, no. Dolby Forest was awesome. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. I thought my cap was loose here. But it's not a cap. It's a, it's a thing. Thank you, MTB stuff. Thanks for being around since the beginning. Yeah. What's up, Josh, Daily Mountain Bike Rider? I got a funny story about Josh. Uh, he was at the Downeyville camp out uh, this weekend with Biker and all of us, and it was awesome to get to meet with him, to get to ride with him. And he asked me, he's like, Brian, why do you always do the side sip? So, uh, I, I handed him my thing, you know, I wiped off my thing and I handed it to him and I said, take a drink. So he takes a drink and the friggin' water just runs all down his chest, just like I just did. <laughs> so he's like, okay, I see. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Good meeting Josh. Good riding with Josh. And now I will be nice and, uh, what, yeah, this shirt is sweet. It's from Yuba Expeditions. <laughs> 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 
30 degrees in Norway. Oh man, that actually, the, nor the scenery in Norway, if you guys have ever seen Vimund DH on, uh, on YouTube, and I think he has a Instagram account too. He's Norwegian, and that stuff looks awesome. <laughs> Rock and roll, Sasha. <laughs> Blake from GMBN is such a badass writer, and he's not just a badass writer, he's actually a badass dude. Like, I, I felt like he like is super into everything the YouTube community is doing, he is so fun. Like the dude is off the charts. Like le just a legit badass that I would love to ride with any day of the week. It's it's so so amazing. The bike has a couple dings and scratches on it. It is what it is. I'm not doing a video from North Star. Uh, my gimbal was acting up and. I didn't really like the writing there very much. I don't think I'll ever be back to North Star. Between you and me. Sorry. If you like it, it's all good. But uh, I didn't like it. Uh, dun, dun, trail features. Good luck. Good luck, man. Dude, thank you for those 50 rubles. <sighs> Antoni, Anton, M M to <laughs> I, I appreciate it so much, dude. 82 degrees in New England. Hell yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh. Okay, we're switching her. We're switching her around. Let's try not to blow anything up here. You heard, Luke heard that the Stram Eagle drivetrains don't have a very long lifespan. I've never heard that that the cassette needs to be replaced after 3,000 kilometers. Yeah, 3,000 kilometers is a lot, isn't it? I don't, I don't think I've got 3,000 kilometers on my bike yet. You can always go back to uh, Shimano. And, uh, yeah, I, I like the SRAM Eagle. I'm, I'm into it. I haven't worn through any cassettes yet. I have, and with the, the GX Eagle, and now they have the NX Eagle, like the super cheap one, you can, uh, can very much reasonably replace your your gear. South Africa trip was awesome, Mark. I would go again for sure. Like those, it wasn't just the trails. The trails were awesome, but the people were awesome too. And I feel like uh, like those guys really liked what I was doing and like really made me feel home. Our boy trail features Joe just. Uh, just moved out to Colorado from Austin, Texas. He's been showing off some of that stuff on his on his Instagram. Awesome, Matt. Good to hear that. Did the beast, dude? The beast was awesome. It, it, it there was definitely a lot of fire roads and stuff in the beast, but like it's it's pretty nice. Brennan, yes, you can buy BKXC gloves. Uh, there should be a link in the description that just has like gear, like merchandise or gear. You could you could Google BKXC gloves. You go to handupgloves.com and look for Trail Explorer. They're called Trail Explorer 2. That's what's kind of weird is like they didn't name them BKXC. But uh, you could go to Worldwide Cyclery and search for BKXC. There's like a lot of, uh, there's a lot. Wow, 850 people watching. Oh, got a hell of a ding back here. put my bike through some torture recently it looks like I'm just spraying down I'm just doing some general cleaning because I want to uh, do some installs and stuff <laughs> rocket man 4633 with 5 euro 49 and says don't buy any brown food from it okay I, I will uh, I will take your word for that I will not uh, buy anything brown anything nugget related and I'm, I'm good on 275 plus this uh, 29 is solid. Rayon, what's up, Thomas? Good to see you, man. Dude, hand up gloves. They've got or hand up apparel. They've got all kinds of wacky stuff, and uh, I'm looking forward to rocking some of the hand up uh, tank tops. Hell yeah! The cleaning substance is Brian's generic ass cleaner. It's water and Dawn dish soap. Just super simple. Not expensive at all. 
JHTV, £4.99. When are you, Seth and Alex getting together again? You guys are great together on the trail, so funny. Loved all the UK videos, thanks for the UK. I don't know, man. It's, uh, we've all got our weird separate schedules and then we come back together. And uh, we shall see. We shall see if, uh, if we make it back together. It will happen, uh, hopefully it'll happen this year. But uh, the, the schedules are, are very much a thing. I gotta get those guys over to friggin' Spain or Europe or something. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck. Stuck in the States. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, Sid? Sid's always rooting for me to uh, ride beside with the $10 Super Chat. He's always, he's always rooting for me to buy my dream car Corvette, but like I've said in the past, it's going to be a lot, a lot of time. It's going to be a lot of time before that happens. Yeah, I've definitely th thought about uh, bikepacking MTB Way. I've done it before, actually, in Lake Tahoe, too. It's, uh, it's definitely a video idea thing that I want to do. Got to make it happen. Okay, just doing... Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to show you guys one thing. So, one of my favorite things about this friggin' bike is, like, how good it looks when the, the wheels are clean. It's... The, the, the black on black with the wheels going from just kind of dirty, meh, getting juiced up. It's amazing. Thanks, Sid, for the, uh, the $10 super chat, dude. What's up, Taffy? Good to see you, dude. The Welshman himself, checking in. Ha ha ha, what's up, Adam? Good to see those chats coming through. But yeah, I don't know if that really does, did it justice, but uh, the, the clean to dirty thing, is just oh. I read I ride in Benicia all the time. Uh, that idiot goes biking. I'm out there all the time. If you see my Strava, ah, oh, Karsten, sorry you missed the first 25 minutes. You haven't missed much. Just checking in, just saying hi. Hmm. <sighs> got some new stickers for thing. Got some MLC adventures. Got MTBing adventures. Daily mountain bike rider. And then bikers Downeyville campground. <laughs> For, <laughs> you, uh, I swear everything I do like gets people butt hurt about something else. So it's like somebody saw that I had like this sticker over the hand up glove stickers. Like, oh, what what's wrong with hand up gloves? It's like, fuck, I can't do anything right, huh? I have to, I have to fucking. Oh, everything's like a slight against someone, or like I'm, I'm just uh, whatever. Roll with it. Hey, Jody, good to see you. What's up, Veyron? Uh, crazy Bacon, a mud guard. They search for a mud guard. Or don't go right in the mud. I'd love to go to Ireland, Peter. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. Finn, I don't think I'll be back to England anytime soon, but hopefully maybe next year. Yeah, what's up, Rick? Good to see you, man. The Fox transfer is going on very soon. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, whatever happened to Brian's crispy ass nuggets? I guess there was just not enough, uh, you know, not enough content. I didn't do enough live streams to keep him in, keep him in check. I'm sure he'll probably see this and then uh, did do it. <laughs> What's up, Mike Tong? <laughs> Ryan checking in. B1 in the house. B1's at work, I think. Yes, yes, yes. You're right, uh, Matt. I'm, I'm saying yes to Matt because I've got this spot on the door for all my stickers. And uh, a plexiglass thing would be really good because then I could like take that off and take it somewhere. Justin Hyde, what's up, man? Justin Heidi, I think it was. We, we, we went through that one time. Good to stuff. <laughs> I'm covering the bottom of the set, set sticker. Oh, I must hate him now. <laughs> I didn't have... Did I... I had Burger King nuggets in the UK. I didn't ever have, uh, I never had, uh, whatchamacallit, I, I didn't have McDonald's nuggets in the UK, so. No review, no review. I feel like it has to be uh, uh, consistent. What's up, bearded MTBR, good stuff. All right, here we go. Good night, MTB Scotland. It's pretty early, huh? It's like only about 8.30 or so. Hey Google, what time is it in Scotland right now? The time in Scotland, UK, is 8.24 p.m. Going to bed early, man. Early to bed, early to rise. 
appreciate it. It is a Kashima coat, and we should actually open up the uh, the uh, the box here. <laughs> hey, thanks, Cranky Trails. Tufty Bill with the twenty dollars super chance. Any chance of a Copper Harbor or Duluth trip? Yes, there is definitely a chance of those trips. What I don't know is if I'll be able to post it on Patreon for you guys can, to do come out and do a, a group ride. So. Such is the peril. Just like me covering up stickers, such is the peril of me going to your local trails and not telling you and then you being very disappointed that I wasn't there. But, hey John, what's up John Zadurko? I see you. I was riding Downeyville with him this weekend. But the antidote for that is for you to invite me to your trails. So, it kind of sucks. As I get bigger and bigger, I just keep hurting people's feelings more and more and more. And that's kind of, it's like the weird, uh, the weird divergence of the channel and like the weird divergence of like me being able to hang out. But these live streams are as much as I can, I'm going to keep it like this because basically what the first, you know, couple minutes, the, the stream was going fucking nuts, right? But now we're 30 minutes in, I can, I can pretty much read the chat, I can hang out, and uh, basically I will wear you out. That's the thing. You will not watch this whole live stream, I guarantee it, but I will be here. And that's it's almost my, my, uh, my ethos, like to respond to all the comments and all that stuff, is just that I will be here longer than you will. <laughs> there are many, so many guys that like used to reply on all my videos, and they would say like, oh, are you ever gonna stop, like what happens when you get so big and you're gonna stop replying? Those guys don't fucking uh, comment on my videos anymore. I'm still here, they're not. <laughs> I, take, I take great pride in that, if you haven't, uh, if you hadn't noticed. Was that MTV Yum Yum in the house? I saw someone mention Jason and a review of a bike. So uh, I missed MTV Yum Yum while I was on my my rant there. I'm sorry. The Schwalbe tires, Nico. Uh, I talked about this a little bit in the front. I feel like the uh, <laughs> Josh is going to try to watch the whole live stream. So the performance in the Schwalbe tires has been pretty dang good. Uh, like on the trail, performance wise. But the rear tire, I have the Attic Soft Compound, like the orange, and it, it just wore out so fast in the back with the, uh, the Han Stomp. Magic Mary up front is still fine, and we're still good to go. <laughs> challenge accepted. Everyone's uh, accepting the challenge. Stuart Bryson, what's up, man? Okay. The uh, race space turbine dropper post has been okay. It's been okay. I, it, I've, I feel like there's some cable tension issues and stuff that I've had, but that's probably more my fault. And uh, Matt's in Qatar. What's up, dude? Ooh, I like that idea, Bach. Forest scenery, digital print on the wall. I like that. That's kind of a cool idea. Okay, I just have to reset here. Um, <laughs> there does come a point where I have to like kind of... <laughs> I have to separate and not read the chat for just a second so I can reset. So let's open up the box. Worldwide Cycle Re, baby. I haven't even opened this box yet. And I haven't bled my disc brakes yet, uh, Andreas. But you want to bleed them when they start feeling like crap. That's kind of the, that's the, the guiding principle. Do I have a knife in here? I see MTV Yum Yum in the chat. What's up, dude? He's editing the video now. You're editing the video now? <laughs> I didn't know that DVO had a drop and post, Matthew. Oh, yeah, they do, huh? What's up, dude? Good to see you, Matthew Gunnink. There's my knife. Knife! <laughs> I don't even know what size the dropper is, so we'll answer all those questions. Very soon. Deer Valley Park. Deer Valley Park City. Man, I want to make it happen, Jason. I, the schedule is is a beast. The schedule is a beast. <laughs> Thank you, MTB Way. You're actually editing. Dude, MTB Yum Yum is editing videos now. So a couple random things. When I... Uh, when I ordered this from Worldwide Cyclery, I was like, hey, I want the Fox Dropper post. And, uh, yeah, Jeff, that's a, 
a 20 miles and 3,000 foot gain, that's a normal pretty big ride. So when I ordered the transfer dropper post, Raymond from Worldwide Cyclery, who I like email to get parts, he said, you should do the wolf tooth remote, not not like the normal turbine or not the normal Fox transfer remote. So they, they've got really good, uh, they've had really good use, really good whatever out of that out of the, uh, the wolf tooth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the, use the wolf tooth. Yeah, bearded empty beer, I'm still using uh, my Osprey pack. Then I've got the Problem Solvers Matchmaker. So I have Shimano brakes, but SRAM uh, drivetrain. So it's very much, a, it's very much a, a weird thing. So you've gotta, you gotta have problem solvers, which actually someone in the comments of, or emailed me, some, one of my fans like works for problem solvers and suggested that. So I was like, sweet. Someone asked about securing the shed. The, the shed is secure. I cannot reveal my method of, uh, of surveillance slash security because you know, you wanna, you wanna keep people guessing. Ever heard of production privy? Yes. <laughs> Dang it. Andre, I, I, every time I look it up and I always fuck it up and I, I'm just going to call you Savicki and that's how it's going to be. Welcome aboard, man. Chris, it's going to be many hours. I haven't even opened the box yet. Smooth magic. What's up? Ken, just Google how I built my YouTube channel. My video will come up. And you'll have all the YouTube advice you uh, you could need about starting a YouTube channel. Bum, bum, bum. I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated. I run my uh, Alice. I I run my uh, suspension on lower on the on the Rayon. <laughs> we're just we're just settling in, Sayonara. We're just settling in. Oh, also another uh, thing. Yeah, actually, I'm, before I start, I'm going to talk, uh, I'm going to, uh, I got to sue over us. <laughs> Stop shopping at Baby Gap. <laughs> I got, I got the tightest shirts I can get, brother. Uh, is this thing? Oh, did I just kill it? Oh, Christ. Oh, no. I just totally messed up the whole thing. I shouldn't have hit that button. Okay, just a second here. Just a second here. Okay, we should be back. We should be okay. I'm, I'm waiting for you guys to... <laughs> so, two shitty things. Okay, I'm just making sure. Let's, let's make sure that everything is working. Uh, pancakes. The secret password, the secret word is pancakes. Just say Andrew, to spell Andre, Andrew Saviki. Okay, I'm waiting for pancakes to come through. Okay, we're good, we're good, sweet. Okay, so, two shitty things about the uh, Orbea Rayon. One, you guys should be uh, pretty, pretty familiar with. I still haven't seen pancakes come through. Let's, the secret word is pancakes, let's see it in the chat. <laughs> Pancakes. Okay, thank you, Randolph. So, one thing you guys are already aware of is the rear nut. The rear nut on this thing just mine's loose again, and I haven't done Loctite, so that's one thing I wanted to do like right here before I actually uh, before I forget. So I've got some Loctite, and I need to apply that because this this is like a deadly, deadly thing that friggin' sucks about the uh, Orbea Rayon. Then the other thing is this, this is like a piece of tape that I put on here to try to help out, but uh, we're gonna have pancakes coming for the next seven, 700 hours now. This, this brake hose is rubbing all the way through the paint, all the way through the frame. Can you see that? There we go. So it's pretty, pretty bad. So I just need to figure out how to, get some tape on here and, and try to protect that a little bit, a little bit better. But for God's sakes, if you have a rayon, make sure that rear nut is tight. 
Like it's it's uh, that is just not good. It's not good at all. I don't want anybody to die. I do have some lizard skin carbon stickers as well. Good call. Nippy pictures. I missed you. Hey, I'm 13 from England with the five pounds. You're great. Keep up the good work. I ride a 2018 YT Capra. Keep riding. Thanks, man. Thank you, Nippy. I I I, I, per, I per appreciate that. A piece of tube will protect it better. Okay. Is it? But that that's it's, it's like isn't that already what the brake cable is? It already is a piece of tube. So uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> BKXC sticker should fix it. Hey, Art Renzo, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. RG Castro. Loosen the bleed nut and move the nut up. Yeah, okay. I see what you mean. I can get it kind of more vertical in the air, and that will keep... Ooh, that's a good idea, because it's it uh, it's very much... Uh, even the brake hose is kind of tight to the, uh, the whatchamacallit, spokes, so... We'll get there. Okay, so now that, well, no, that isn't done. Let's get the Loctite out. And if I have Loctite. I bought Loctite from Amazon and it was like bootleg Loctite. <laughs> then I bought some more with Lowe's, from, from Lowe's with my dad, so. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? I'm gonna forget. And uh, I don't want to die. die. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, <sighs> let's just get it on tight here and I'll find the Loctite another day. Should be. Everything should be here. Velcro around the table. Ah, I like that. See, I. That's what's funny. I had mask. I had the 3M mastic tape on there, and it just wore it out like immediately. I'm very actually kind of crazy. I'm I'm pretty disappointed that because mastic tape is pretty. That's what everyone always suggests. Fifteen newton meters. Nail polish. That that's an interesting uh, suggestion. It's in the other nuggetorium. <laughs> MTB Yummy on what the five dollar he does. Five bucks to get my butt to Utah and ride Deer Valley. It's the most real. Brian is the most real and legit YouTuber in the business. Treat yourself one hundred percent. Love it. Thank you, Jason. That uh. That means a lot to me because if, oh, there's a, there's a cat on the fence. Uh, that means a lot to me because, as you guys probably saw, my uh, my interview with Jason, MTV Yum Yum. He's from Utah, and he happens to be a more a member of the Jesus Christ of the Latter Day Saints. He's a Mormon dude, and uh, you know I'm a cussing, athe not atheist, maybe agnostic. What whatever I am, I'm uh, I'm going to hell. That's that's kind of the the long and short of it. So, I think it's very awesome that we can both get along and share our passion of mountain biking, whether and like, depending whatever we believe in, that that doesn't define us completely, and that we can be open to each other and not be like, oh, you, you believe this, oh, I believe that, and like get all mad at each other. And uh, the world needs more of that shit. I'll tell you that much. Thank you for that, uh, <laughs> that Jason. I appreciate it, dude. My bars are 800 millimeter. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna over tighten it. I'm gonna under tighten it. What What is the answer with the nut, Adrian? What is the answer? Uh, Twenty or fifteen newton meters is the is the answer. But I need to get uh, I need to get some Loctite on there. <laughs> I'll see you in hell, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, yes, you're definitely going to hell. Mountain Bike Geek with the five bucks. 
five bucks US, I might say, instead of the Australian. So uh, traditions must be kept. Hashtag dating fund. You know, I've been, I've been, uh, been putting some time into the old dating apps recently, and you know, it just, it's just, it's like anything else. You just got to put time in. You just got to put time in. <laughs> Oh, I just saw that. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Joe from Trail Features. Yes, I mean don't talk to be, be don't talk to each other like the pink bike comments. Exactly. What's up, JT? Uh, the Schwalbe up front, Magic Mary still doing fine. I've got the super graffiti on it, but the rear, the rear Hans Dampf, it just wore out so fast, dude. It wore out so fast that tire is torched. And the performance was great, but uh, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go back to the minions because I bought a bunch of minions back a couple months ago when I got the bike because I just always wanted to have backups, and uh, so I think the minions are gonna last a little bit, a little bit more. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> I was like, I was like having to read your comment, like, okay, uh, Bumble smashing that string. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I haven't done any night rides with frame up bikes yet, and I'm busy this Thursday too. I want to freaking do it, but uh, yeah, it's not going to happen this Thursday either, which is a bummer. I will get out there. I will get out to frame up bikes and ride with the guys from the shop. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the, uh, anyone that's watching the stream all the way through, you're going to hear the same shit repeated over and over, so it's kind of part of it. Kinger. Yes, I would ride in Wales again in an instant. Wales, okay, I'm going to say it. Wales was probably my favorite uh, my favorite region of the UK because you had Bike Park, Wales, you have Cody Brennan, and then you had Snowden, and it was freaking awesome. If you guys like those videos, you should go get there. All right, Matt. Take it easy, dude. Good to see you. I should have watched a video on installing this. <laughs> time, time is of the essence. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> Mr. Tonka, pancakes. You're a little behind, my book, my friend. My... <laughs> the worst food in the UK actually didn't have. The food was not that bad. Here we go with the full-on concentration. <laughs> no breaks, 23, never paid more than 23, 35 bucks for a Schwalbe. That's, that's actually awesome, because those tires are friggin' expensive. <laughs> Jim, what's up, man? I'm just so excited. My, uh, I'm getting excited trying to talk and do this stuff all, all the, at the same time. What's my, what's my projection for how many subs I'm going to have by the end of the year? 225. How many Patreons do I currently have? That's Jason MTB Young Young. I think I'm around 1,300 patrons right now on Patreon, which is incredible and uh, makes this makes this life possible. It makes everything possible, being able to do it. And uh, yeah, maybe 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I just got to keep making great videos. That's the only thing that matters in my world is making great videos. And uh, I just need to keep doing it. Hey, thanks, Mark. What's up, man? Good to see you. Mark Kitashima. Got the Kitashima coat. <laughs> this is the race face turbine dropper post, and everyone I talk to that has experience with it uh, doesn't really like it. I am glad to be home, Joe. I like going out, I like traveling, but I love being at home. It's nice to be next to my family and friends, ride my local trails, get back in the Nuggetorium, actually be able to do live streaming like this, and uh, it's great. Thank you, Michael. That that note means a lot, man. That means a lot. I appreciate the, uh, the youth, you enjoy everything that I'm doing. Okay, we're good. 
It really means a lot, man. I think I'm going to change my saddle as well while we're here. The new turbine dropper post is a, re a rebranded transfer, but this is not the new turbine dropper post. So I'm going to keep my hosing. Yeah, keep the housing in. Thank you, <laughs> JFK USA. <laughs> that might have been worth a $2 super chat to, to keep me from fucking up. <laughs> Leave the housing. What is the housing? Dude, the coil has been awesome. I, I'm digging the traction. I am mostly digging, not worrying about the frigging uh, air pressure. So thumbs up for the coil for me so far. JHTV with the four pound 99 ordered the Orbea Occam AM30 going from a Trek Roscoe hardtail, Fork Days Camping and MTB Trails and Cody Brennan next week. Oh baby, good, good place to break in the new bike. I, I did not consider the uh, the revive dropper from a uh, bike yoke. There's a lot of droppers out on the uh, market now, so there's like unlimited uh, options. But time after time, the turbine dropper post is kind of the one, and I just trust the guys from Worldwide Cyclery. Really, that's kind of part of it. Like I, you always trust your friends, right? You always trust like their their opinions and. When they work at a bike shop and they see things come and go all the time and they say the turbine or I'm sorry, the transfer is the one, then you just go for the go for that. A little smaller, a little smaller. A little bigger, a little bigger. The biker, just Google it. Just Google how much are Max's high rollers. That's uh, that will answer your question. <laughs> this will definitely go well. Yeah, the one-up dropper post is on the market now. Those guys are always kicking ass. Okay, this thing. And I don't want to lose this other part here. It's just like, I need this for backups. I always need it for backups. Okay. So let's rip the cable. I've got housing. We've got the housing. We're good to go. We've got the cable. A little dirty in there. Nothing too bad. <laughs> Joe's not a fan of the, the turbine install. It seemed straightforward enough to me, and only because I didn't mess it up. I would be, uh, I'd be freaking hating it if I actually messed it up. Yeah, turbine dropper is just, just a lot of issues. Done. UK is definitely at the top, man. J273. It's definitely one of the best. The weather was so good. I had so much fun. The UK is definitely awesome. Basically, all you need to know about where my favorite places to ride are just if it's fun. Like, if I'm having fun, if the videos are fun, if I'm losing my mind saying, oh my god, that's where you should go ride. That's, that's my highest recommendation. If it was one of your favorite videos, you should go ride there too. Buddy Paws Adventurer, thank you for the $2 super chat, my man. Okay. I was, Karsten, I was watching BC POV live stream from the trail and it was friggin' awesome. That was so cool. Awesome, Daryl. I'm glad you, uh, glad you enjoyed this series in the UK. Coach, it was awesome. Paul G just became a patron and subscriber. Love the vids. Thank you, dude. Thank you for coming along here for the ride and actually making it possible. The Kashima Coat. 
Is it a matching Kashima coat? That's the, that's the question. Yep. Yes, it is. Just had to angle the... In the light, it looked a little different for a second. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is like always the funniest thing when I try to measure something. It looks like 150 millimeters to me. Eh, it looks like it might be 160 if that's an option. It's probably not an option. Didn't put the Kush core in yet. You guys will know. If you're watching my channel, you will know when I put the Kush core in. No doubt about it, my friends. Thank you, Wildlife85. I'm uh, I'm always glad to hear that. That's that's definitely one of the biggest parts of my job is to inspire. And if I can inspire people, that means I can like make change in the world. I'm a hippie like that, and uh, I think YouTube is a powerful place to do that. And hanging out on these live streams is a a powerful place to do that too. Dude, GMBN, Blake and Tom were awesome. Blake is easily just one of the coolest guys ever. I would ride with him any day of the week. It's just a total badass. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say on there? 636. Am I dumb or what? I, I don't see it saying uh, like 160 or anything, even on the bottom. Yeah. It is what it is. What's up, Troy? I see you there, TD Bikes. Yeah, it must be 150 then. I've got carbon paste. I'm not going to put it on quite yet. I'm going to wait till I actually get it going. And then I'll forget about it. Uh, <laughs> that's the plan. This is not an install video. This is a hangout video. What's up, Brian? Good to see you. Ta -ta. Oh, six inch travel. Okay, so six. That's what the six means. Six inch, one fifty. Cool. You guys are always educating me. You guys are always educating me. trying to actuate it with my own thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab a cable from my big box of cables. I use Final Cut Pro Wolf MTB. Hey, Chris George, good to see you, man. Chris just emailed me some tips on peeing in the wilderness when there's no, uh, when there's uh, no cover. <laughs> that was funny. So, let's thread this through. Collaboration with Sutton and Alex! I'm gonna thread this through here. I'm like totally winging this. <laughs> I actually feel comfortable at doing this install without reading the directions, which is so stupid. So, you thread this through, and now it's kind of got that edge right there. These, uh... The, uh, these birds are loud. These birds, birds are loud. Threader, threader through the old housing here. Dun, 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 dun. The head cover for the cable tip. I think you mean this. So there's only one uh, piece that comes in the box, so that's that's like the only thing you could mess up. <laughs> So now I've got it out here. All about winging it. Adam, I saw you said, uh, I saw you posted that you're gonna be in the, in the States and stuff. So hit me up, email me. Let's uh, make sure if I'm around, I definitely wanna try to get a ride in, dude. Okay, we're gonna go this direction. I'm gonna go like that to make sure this gets in here. Just kinda snap it in. <laughs> Matthew Gunning. <laughs> it does now. It does now. Just want to make sure. Sweet. Okay. So now that's that's in there. This is like the easiest thing ever. I actually have a different lever, Mountain Bike Geek. 
the guys at uh, Worldwide Cyclery said that the Fox Transfer lever is not as good as the Wolf Tooth lever. So I'm going to use the Wolf Tooth leather lever. Oh, wait a second. I don't want to pull the housing too much. I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to put tension on the cable. Put tension on the cable, pull the housing through gently. Getting resistance. I'm getting resistance. Hey, Wadi Legend, good to see you. Yeah, I have some triflow lube. I, uh, good call on the housing. To, let's see how far this will go. Sweet, it'll go all the way to the bottom. I like that. And uh, I have the letters on the back on the Fox transfer, so I think that's the back and this is the front. That's, uh, <laughs> that's my guess. And then I'll, I'll put some uh, I'll put some fiber grip on here as well. Yes. So Darren, you've got this. Your buddy has the same issues where the the brake cable sawed through the frame, and then uh, the Loctite the nut. So those are the two very much uh, things. Oh, and Orbea actually warranted the damage and sent him a new swing arm. I'm curious about that though because I've got the Myo so. That means they'd have to paint up a new custom frame or whatever. So we'll see. I, I, I will remember the carbon paste. I'll put it out. Let's do it right now. I'll put the gloves on. Stuart Brayson, thank you for the two pounds, my man. It is much appreciated. Super chats always appreciated. I know a lot of people uh, aren't just aren't big on Patreon just because it's the fact that it's like a, a recurring payment kind of thing. But I feel like I deliver a good value on Patreon. If you guys are ever curious to check it out, you could just do like one month of, for three bucks and just kind of see. You'd basically be able to see all of my videos for the past two years, extended cuts. And uh, if you want to cancel, you cancel and see what you, see if you like it or not. But I know some people like the super chat because it's like. Sometimes it's easier just to throw out 10 bucks and say, hey man, like, you know, get a little message out there and, and uh, it feels good. I've done it on many live streams to different people that I watch, not just, not just MTV YouTubers. The long and short of it is thank you. Everything, kel everything helps, everything keeps the channel alive. And uh, even though it may seem like, oh, you've got this many subscribers, there, it's always going to be a struggle to keep the channel alive and keep moving and uh, keep doing what I'm doing. So you guys make it happen. <laughs> Thanks, Coach, for the, the Patreon endorsement. Peter, uh, my email address, it's on the About page. And then also, if you just go to my website, which is in all the links, there's a contact page. I bet if you even Googled Contact BKXC, the, I bet the first thing that came up would be my contact page on my website. Oh, I'm sure it's a little warm in Phoenix right now. <laughs> when am I coming to Texas? Dude, JT, I want to make it happen. I think we're kind of in the in the wrong time for it to happen now. So carbon paste, this kind of keeps the post from like moving around. So you want to, you know, you, you always tighten this up to keep the post tight, but you don't want to keep it super tight. If you, if you tighten this up too much, then all of a sudden it kind of clamps the internals of everything. So this fiber grip, and correct me if I'm wrong anyone, uh, the fiber grip kind of helps the post stay in it and it gives it a little bit of friction so it doesn't move around because you have to be in this weird spot where the, the this clamp can't be tightened a hundred percent it has to be tightened less than a hundred percent only five newton meters and so you put this fiber grip on here and it's just like a bunch of weird little like weird little I don't know nodules they're little things that just kind of help put friction on the post does that make sense? Jed, yes it does, BKXC, Brian Kennedy cross country or Brian Kennedy across the country. Yeah, I, I have a feeling there's too many, too much arm veiny shot here. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take the focus off of my, <laughs> off of my guns, brother. 
Pop Culture 101 with the dollar ninety nine. Thanks, dude. Can't wait to get a bike and hit the trails. Awesome. That's awesome to hear that, dude. I feel like I'm getting a little smarter with the bikes. I feel like this this whole channel is like a progression of uh, oh sweet Tim Cat, welcome aboard. The the channel is like I'm I'm riding better. I can I feel like I'm talking about the bike stuff better. Like just over and over, I'm getting uh, better and better. So it's very good. Peter, I agree. I, I think this bike is friggin' beautiful as well, and it rides even better. I cannot wait for you guys to see the friggin' suicide trail video. Uh, that'll be on Patreon soon. I'm editing it now. Once I get off this marathon live stream. Oh, interesting, James. Carbon paste also stops aluminum and carbon fiber from welding together because they actually have kind of a, a reactive component. Wow, good stuff. So another place where you would use carbon paste is in your your head, your head, not headset. It's a stem. Your stem and your bars. So the bars are carbon. The stem is aluminum, and you don't want that to metal meld together. There should be something that connects the cable housing to the bottom of the dropper. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, only only thing that came in uh, in the bag was that. I'm gonna look at this real quick. I'm gonna check out the instructions. Haha! <laughs> just SB Pro Media just rode South South Mountain 105 degree weather. Kunz Banos, ah, Kunz Banos, love, love from Germany, he got me into biking. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, okay, I see what you mean by having a little piece of housing. Okay, cool. And I, I have a bunch of little housing. Thank you for that. Shout out to, uh, I'm going to scroll up and... Little shout out. I'm gonna miss it. Eh, eh. MTB Crank It. Thank you. Shout out, buddy. So, let me get, uh, you know, how, you, you guys know I love doing shout outs, but I actually bought a whole thing of Jaguar uh, Feral covers. But, okay, so that means I have to do everything over. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. We're gonna do it right. This live stream will never end. Haha, <laughs> Jack still can't get over how we call uh, flapjacks pancakes. I know, it's very funny because in the UK, those flapjacks are awesome. Ooh, that was kind of funky. That's a good call with the housing because the cable was already kind of off to the side. I kind of kind of messed it up a little bit. I got a very important text just now. Nice. Okay, I'll get back to you on that set. <laughs> Back to work. See you later, Jason. Thanks for hanging out, man. I always I always like seeing your face or your avatar. I didn't grease the cable. I, I could grease the cable. I'm not too concerned about getting grease on the table, on the cable, the table. Now I'm getting all self-conscious about messing up my words. Damn it. Okay, let's pull the cable. I didn't do a, a name on the down tube, Tim Cat. I just, I, I just wasn't creative enough. I was like, ah, oh, I could do a name, but what could it be? Okay, so I'm putting on this housing thing. Okay, Bach, thank you for that. Slightly grease the mechanism, not the bottom could make squeaky spring sounds. So, so I think you're talking about the mechanism right here. I'll put in a little bit, a little bit of uh, grease on that. Yeah, I think the housing is uh, lubricated already. I think Matthew's right. I do have a uh, Patreon rides. Haven't done one in a bit. And they're always fun when I do. Yeah. What Joe said. WD-40 is more of a solvent than a lube. So it's more of a cleaner than a... Oh, crap. Now I lost the housing in there. <laughs> Here we go. 
Yeah, WD-40 is less of a lube and more of a cleaner. Don't use WD-40. Okay, so the housing has been lost in the frame now, and uh, we're in trouble, boys. We're in trouble. So, oh, my brother has my cable routing uh, kit, too. Son of a bitch. I have an internal cable routing kit that has like the, uh, no, maybe he gave it back. Maybe he gave it back. Let's see. I'm, I won't blame him yet. Shit. No, he still has it. Fuck. Okay. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's peer into the hole here. See if I can get some light. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. I see her. She's right. Just hung up in this little section here. So there's this spot on the frame. Ooh, tip the bike upside down. I like that bike packing boy. And it makes me look like an idiot. So you know I'm game for that. Well, here before I before I tip it up, let's 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 see here. Come on, come on. You're so close. This is riveting, riveting streaming. Now it's definitely, uh, definitely hung up. Do you remember me and Carlos on the side of the trail in Spain with the, uh, the dropper post and it being routed into the frame being hung up? It's the same thing. Maybe your rayon has a sleeve inside and you can just push it through. You guys, you guys all have rayons too? Huh? <laughs> Who would have known? Oh, it's like just, if I twist it, I think I can kind of get it to get it to move off into a different section of the... You son of a... Coat hanger is like the one thing I don't have. I'll tell you that much. Shop vac! <laughs> Think so? Oh, we're going... We're going to get real goofy here, boys. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I could put the cable through and see if the cable comes out and then kind of do that. This is when the uh, this is when the cooks start coming into the kitchen. Ooh, a piece of paper like a tube. I like that, Pavel. I like that idea. That seems to be the most uh, helpful for what because I can see it. I can see her in there. I think the cable, oh, come on, baby. Yeah, see, the cable will come through. Here we go. Cable's through. Sweet. Okay, so now just. Come on, you bastard. Still, it's like still hung up. <laughs> what would I do if I couldn't ride due to a sudden disability or trauma? Who do you think you'd be or become? Oh, we're getting heavy, are we? We're getting, we're getting fucking deep. Well, I got my cable through at least. Um, it's a good question. It depends. I mean, what would any of us do? It's pretty uh, intense if that did happen. Let me let me focus on this first. <laughs> hey, Daniel, you're in timeout. Da, 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 da. Uh. <laughs> Got all the the cooks in the kitchen. You guys are behind. You need to refresh your page if uh, 
if you haven't seen, that I've already got it. I've got this situation well taken care of. We just have to not let this friggin' cable fall back in. <laughs> Gum on a stick. <laughs> I love it. The, the fact of the matter is, I will be injured at some point. Mountain biking is very injurious. And uh, from there, I will... I'll still make videos. I'll still have stuff to say. I'll still have a story to tell. And we'll see when, 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 the, when the time comes. Because there's, there's a lot I could do. I could freaking just, just be a mountain bike mechanic with my leg in a, in a sling or something like that, you know? Okay, so the housing's on. Dude, Brown County. I've heard about Brown County in Indiana a bunch. Got to get there. Good call, uh, Polish guy with a hard to spell name. That is, that's a very good call. You want to make sure your housing has the ferrule on it because it would just start getting busted up and the protection would not be there. So you got to have the protection there. I'm a bike mechanic now, you guys. A dropper post is good because it gets out of your way. So if you're on something very steep and your seat is kind of up in your butt, when you drop the dropper post, it gets out of the way and it makes it like awesome for you to descend. Like it's really, really cool. Dun, dun. Okay. So we're back in action now with the carbon paste all over my, my hands. Might as well I'm put a little bit more inside the uh, thing. <laughs> Start up the Wi-Fi garden again. There hasn't been anything new in the smart sprinkler controller uh, world in so long. Droppers are life changing. Okay, we'll do a little We'll do a little inner wipe as well, because if you noticed, uh, this is probably better because I put it on the outside of the dropper post, this carbon paste stuff that causes friction, and uh, it just gets pushed up, right? It just kind of all gets pushed up to the top. So this is probably a little bit better. <laughs> Tyler, you like that? You like that? I'm a bike mechanic now, damn it. Okay, feral is in. This is much better. We're an hour in, and we're doing it. We're doing it. I like the coil shock, Jack. I like the, I like the traction. I'm not the best uh, at explaining bike stuff or reviewing bike stuff, so... Man, that cable just freaking gets zipped in there so quick. BKX service. BK. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, there's definitely some friction now. Okay, we are transferring. <laughs> opinions on the new XDR. No opinion on the new XDR. Don't know anything about it. Don't really care because the Stream Eagle stuff is great. Shimano's kind of uh, playing catch up. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it'll be good. Okay, so. Should we test? I didn't even text actuation. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like that's gonna mess up. So yeah, let's 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 leave that alone. So <laughs> the Kush Core box is out, hating out. It's very depressed. You can get some carbon grip carbon pastes. It's I don't know how important it is, but bike mechanics do it, so I think it's important.
<laughs> Daniel, all I've seen you post is please. So I have no idea what you are trying to communicate except for please. And you've, you've posted it a million times. And uh, you won't be long for this chat room, my friend. Okay, so got the wolf tooth remote IS2, which means it uh, works with the IS2 brakes that I have. And uh, da -da, the places where the, sh the shifter used to be for a clean cockpit. Sweet. So now I kind of have to eyeball this and figure out like where the cable goes and how it wraps around and all that stuff. So it's going to go through there. Oh, my fly's open. You got me. You got me. <laughs> that new bag sound. Sweet. So yeah, this is pretty simple. It appears it would look simple as everything does. Cool, this goes on over here. Sweet, Lone Ranger gives it a, uh, wow, it's got nice, a really nice friction feeling there. But Lone Ranger gives it uh, the thumbs up. What's up, Ryan, good to see you, my man. The Shimano brakes have been pretty good. I, I'm definitely digging the Shimano brakes. You know, one thing I, I really need to learn and uh, my epidermis, my phalanges are showing as well. I really need to like learn the whole like righty tighty lefty loosey of the brake cable stuff and uh, shifter cable stuff. So right now this is as tight as it goes. So it's like, do you want it kind of halfway in between? Do you want it all, uh, all the way out? I guess I'm just being rhetorical now because I'm sure you guys will answer it, but because basically this makes this stretch which tightens stuff up so it seems like you would want it to be able to tighten stuff so let's go and see over here what's up trail viewer i like that you have the fearless leader as a uh, your avatar see look the chat's all slowed down all the way tight. See halfway. See, yeah. There's some different, uh, different opinions. Halfway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll go a couple turns out from closed. I like that. Yeah. Sweet. See. Now we got everyone. Look at this. We're just hanging out. We got Mr. T spamming the same shit over and over that I'm tired of seeing now. Sorry, brother. If you would have just made a real comment. You could have stuck around. Bye-bye. Dude, I want to go to Madeira, Antero. I really want to go to Madeira. Two turns from tight. Sweet. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I think we're all learning. So I tightened up. You know, I did righty-tighty as much as I could. I'll make sure you guys know what I did. So... I tightened it up, so like righty tighty is tighten all the way up, and then you kind of just pop it out a couple turns just so you've got some uh, some leeway here. 953 people watching, hell yeah. That's awesome. But see, we're still able to chat, we're still able to hang out. How great is that? How friggin' great is that? That is what the BKXC live stream is all about. You wear them down, you fucking wear them down. You bore them to tears, and then, uh, only the most dedicated are here. <laughs> what the hell's going on? This is... What size is this? <laughs> Why am I not able to find it? I didn't install a uh, Kushcore yet, Rat Hucker. I'll get it. I'll get it there eventually. It will be a live stream. Jacob, this is Orbea Rayon. Wit Kid One, SoCal's repping it. Oh, nice. Dude, those, that crew was so cool. I really want to get back there and ride with uh, Z-Waz and uh, Jason. And I rode with a bunch of guys that day that were really fun dudes. Looks like it was a three millimeter. And I'm going to put the cable under this whole thing. B. Craig, Scotland. Nice. Get on the trail, Robbie. That's awesome. Okay, the 
cable's always going to stretch a little, Oliver. Thank you. What place in the world have you not gone, and where do you want to go? I want to go to Rotorua, New Zealand. That's one place in the world I have not gone yet, and I, I think about it. I'd love to. Haha, <laughs> somebody must have lost their fidget spinner. <laughs> any recommendations for poor trail riders? I don't have any recommendations for lower budget stuff. That is a, that's a need that someone needs to feel, to, fi to fill. I've, to Topias, I've seen you ask about Mavic a bunch of times. I just don't have anything to say about Mavic, so sorry, bud. I see you asking. I, I try to read almost every message, and uh, I see them, but sometimes I might be choosing not to respond because I just don't have anything to say. <laughs> hey, Google, what time is it in South Africa right now? The time in South Africa is 10.20 p.m. 10.20, okay. I, I saw that you said 22.19, Peter, but I just had to actually... Uh, Oh shoot, that tourist. Dude, you dropped that two dollar, that two pound super chat way back when and I missed it. I see it up there because you asked about the, the workout routine. And uh, it, it's, it's always one of those things that I would like to make a video about, but it just opens me up to so much more criticism. It's just like, you know, my life, my, I live the life of constant criticism, which is fine. But like diet and exercise, oh my God, it's just a whole nother fucking like can of worms. But that being said, I still think it would be useful to some people, and I, th I think some people would benefit from it, and uh, I'm not 100% opposed to doing it. So uh, it, it may happen someday. It's, I, it's definitely something I think about. It's just uh, I seem to be okay with bumbling around and uh, fucking up all this stuff, but <laughs> talking about like giving people suggestions of like what to eat and stuff, it's like, man, that's tough. Alex, what's up? Alex Franks, good to see you, man. I recognize that avatar. Okay, let's uh, let's bodge this up pretty good. I've got the, the cable puller. I'm going to try to... This is like the third hand tool, the cable puller thing to kind of uh, make it so I can grasp the cable. I haven't used it enough to actually do it right. Nice, Jared. You uh, you actually wrote Rua Rua. That's great. Dun, dun, dun. I should put it on the bars first, but I, I just want to kind of feel the tension on this thing. I just want to kind of make sure it's working before I put it on the bars. <laughs> no brakes. See? I know, man. The armchair professional trainers will definitely come out. Oh, yeah! Ron with it, with the $5. I, I, I just saw the Carlos one as well. That's, that's 200 pesos is a legit amount of money, too. Holy shit. So, Ron with it, with $5. Sweet spot as far as handle, handlebar, that handlebar length. Wide enough to be stable, but narrow enough to follow guys without digging between the trees. Yeah, man. Like, uh, uh, the, I think the opinion is that 800 mil, mil bars is actually a little too much. Like it's it's probably a little overkill for most people. I actually do have wide shoulders, so I feel decent with the the 200 or 800 millimeter bars. But uh, I was just riding this week with Paul the Punter, if you guys have seen his channel, and he's kind of, uh, he's pretty down on uh, super wide bars. He thinks that it's just so stupid uh, that everyone has super wide bars and that you, everyone should probably cut them down a, a, a little bit. Guy Kestevin is an awesome dude. He was really fun. <laughs> How many iron brews did I take home with you? I, I tried to sneak home as many as I could. Wow, this is not putting... Th oh, no, that's why. It's not... It's like you have to kind of force the thing up against it to actually... Yes, okay. All right, here we go. Carlos, PF, thank you for that 200 pesos, dude. That, that is much appreciated. I think that's a significant amount of money. Hey, Google, what's 200 pesos in U.S. dollars? 200 Mexican pesos is approximately 10 United States dollars and $10. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Are you guys actually hearing the Google come through when, uh, when I say that? So, okay. So here's the, here's the deal with this. So, hey, what's up, Dre? MLC Adventures, the midlife crisis adventures in the house. Good to see you, man. Uh, Dre and his buddy uh, James, I think, drove all the way down from Washington. So, okay, here's the deal. Here's how you here's how you you use this tool. So you put the thing, 
you want to brace against, you want to pull on. This is it's not the best best tool for this, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to we're going to make this happen. So, the flat edge goes up against this. This goes there, and then you kind of like eh, use that to pull and put tension, and then it can even lock into place while you're doing it. <sighs> we're learning. Oh, Google Assistant is loud and clear. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, definitely not clipping the cable box. Oh, yeah, the Google at your house didn't really understand me. So I just want to, I'm just going to tighten this for now. I'm not, we're, not, we're not making any big commitments here. And uh, there we go. This is the proper one. Hey, welcome aboard, Tolvin. Good to see you. I'm glad you stumbled upon my, uh, my channel. Which was more memorable, Spain or the UK? That's, that's like trying to pick your favorite kid, man. There's, everything was awesome. There's so many good, good things. That all, all the trips I go on, there's, it's always the people I meet and the, the, the places I go. It's just fantastic. All right, this is so awkward to do this without it being attached to anything. But we're just, we're just testing right now. So awkward, so awkward. Sweet. Post goes down. <laughs> Post goes up. <laughs> I'm going to break this freaking, yeah, the cable slipped, I think. So that's why I did it like this, just so I could kind of mess around. Why do I keep picking up the wrong thing? Which trail was my favorite in the UK? You know, whew, it's too, it's too tough. It's too, it's too much to ask. If I, if I could only go back to one place, I think I would go back to Cody Brennan though. Bike Park Wales, excellent. So excellent. Okay. Seat's going up. Sweet. Okay. Just, just wanted to confirm everything was working. Nice. I love you that you love the, uh, the live stream installs, Jessica. I appreciate that. The Wampire. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Ah, woo! The flies are coming in now. I hope you guys uh, enjoy these flies. I found... Dude! Dan <laughs> uh, Daniel, whatever you're trying to communicate to me, uh, it's, it's not working. You can email me, though. There's ways to email me. There's on my About page. There's a lot of ways. But for now, buddy, sayonara. <laughs> that's that's enough of that. <laughs> and all you say is please in the chat just doesn't make any sense. Uh, Daniel, yes I will. I will learn I will learn how to jump eventually. I appreciate that you uh, dig my channel. Welcome aboard. 575 bars. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, let's clamp this bad boy down here and keep moving. We do this slow motion. We do it nice and slow so everyone can uh, can uh, follow along. You know, I don't want to leave anybody in the dust here. I don't want to go too fast because uh, then people won't be able to follow along and do it on their own. <laughs> now we want to make sure this is a good resource. What's up, Vapor84? Welcome aboard. I've ridden a dirt bike one time, like on a fire road. I think it would be pretty cool. What's up from Iceland? Harold. Manisha. Hello from the other side. <laughs> If you just would have said hi once, Milky Chocolate, I would have responded. No problems with the old dropper, except for it was, it's, it's just everybody that, uh, everybody that uses it, that has experience with it, really uh, hates it, and eventually it, it, it messes up. Hey, what's up, Vlad? Good to see you, dude. The Romanian, yeah, you do need to come up with a well-established plan, and I will come ride Romania. If you've got, like, five great days of riding, it, I will make it happen, dude. Like, there's no doubt about it. 
<laughs> Did Daniel go log in as chocolate milk? <laughs> I haven't ridden, well I have ridden a Rocky Mountain bike back in the, back in the day, back when I started my frame. Okay, okay. I'm reading the chat. I'm getting distracted. You got, I love you, you guys participating, but we're, we're flipping back and forth now. So this is good. I tightened up this just generically. I, I'm not putting a saddle on yet. Let's, let's wait for that. Uh, trail recommendations for bike park whales. Rimdinger. That Rimdinger trail was awesome. I really liked it. No breaks. I am doing a Chasing Epic in September, but it's sold out within like a day. So there will be ch probably some more Chasing Epic trips in, uh, in next year, 2019. Where are all my mods? They're at work, man. <laughs> oh, I'd love to go to Greece. I just need a plan. That's, that's my, my, uh, my answer to everything is I need a plan. Tong, what's up from Vietnam, baby? 3.30 a.m. That's dedication. I chose the transfer because, uh, yeah, saddles are overrated. Chose the transfer because it just seems to be the, the dropper post that works the best, that uh, has the has the least amount of problems. They all have problems. They all have uh, things that happen, but they all, uh, well, that happens. Dude, Vlad, I'm so glad. Vlad, you've been around for a long time. Vlad doesn't comment as much uh, in recent times because he's in school, studying his ass off. Living the dream, a Romanian, going to school in the UK, trying to, trying to go for a bigger and better life. It's possible, man. Just friggin' studying hard, working hard. I love, I love that you poke, poke in every once in a time, in a while, Vlad. That's awesome. And I, w we will meet someday, dude. We will meet someday. So I'm gonna take off the brake lever here and kind of look, look at uh, what the deal is with mounting this together with the lever. Haven't read the instructions. <laughs> We're just winging it, boys and hoping I don't drop anything. How did I find the trails in the UK? Oh, so, so in, in American English, it's like you go find a trail, but you mean like, how did you like the trails in the UK? I love them. If you watch my videos, you know I love them. Come on, that's gotta, that's gotta come through in the videos, right? Okay, there's like some kind of thing. I need to push, push this pin in to open it up. Italian fan, what's up, Flavio? There are not many Italian fans of the channel. I'll tell you that much. They, uh, I'm not macho enough. I don't have enough machismo for the Italianos. <laughs> hey, here we go. We get the <laughs> got the Sasquatch in the in the shot. Hungary is the best. Instructions are overrated. Take it down a notch, Bill. Take it down a notch. Ciao, Manisha. All right, so we've got this bad boy and this bad boy, and like so, they they nestle into each other. Did I catch that? Did I catch that? They just, they just sit right into each other, just, just like so. Boom, no problem, super easy. What could go wrong? Right? I should be RTFMing right now. <laughs> Read the effing manual. Yeah, I love Trek bikes. Trek bikes are some of the best bikes. They've got that Bomb Traga stuff. Trek bikes are pretty much the ultimate in mountain biking experience. You know what I mean? I love, I love Trek bikes. Big fan from Slovenia. That's awesome. Lunch is over. Back to work. See you later, man. Uh-oh. A 
feel like this is kind of floating in here a little bit. <laughs> like it actually should have some kind of lever. Uh, some, some kind of something. But hey. Why? Oh. We're just doing it, man. Joey Bentrack is back, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. I please, please appreciate that. Oh, you know what? I see, I see, I see something in here. Yeah, <laughs> remove the plastic piece. Good call. Thank you, coach. What's up, Charb? Portugal's watching. Chris M, dude, got to Rockville. Some gnarly stuff out there, my man. Some gnarly stuff. I took Paul the Punter out to Rockville and we did a video and can't wait to see what he gets out of that. Okay, so coach was saying to take the plastic piece out. Good call. There we go. So now this plastic piece comes out and this should actually kind of fit in a little bit more naturally. Although it's not, it's just kind of there. It's just kind of. There's nothing to uh, kind of keep it in there. What's up, Travis? I see you there. <laughs> Nick Harris, welcome aboard, my friend. You know the fumbling has only just begun. We're going to fumble all goddamn day. It's Tuesday. I got nothing else. Well, I got videos to edit. <laughs> What's up from Canada, Matthew? I should come back to Australia, IPR. I, I should. No plans for Germany. Okay, let's see. Let's tighten her back up. Hey, hey, Lone Ranger, don't forget to hit the like button. You guys are just sitting around waiting for something to happen. Bef before anything happens, let's uh let's hit that like button. <laughs> Yeah, multi-release cleats are making a difference, for sure. Uh, make sure you buy the M. I crashed enough to, to learn my lesson on that. I'm going to leave my housing a little funky because uh, I'll probably take my bike back to frame up bikes and they'll do the, the ha this uh, shrink wrap housing on this side. So, looking forward to that. Making the bike pro. The, eh, the housing and the hose are a little, little janky at the moment. Maybe I'll do a little. Maybe I'll get a little uh, zip tie here. Got to have a good clinking in the uh, thing. Yeah, multi-release clinkets is what I was talking about. <laughs> when I'm working on my bike, I'm always like afraid to squeeze the brake now. Dude, Lone Ranger in the house doing the shout outs and the uh asking for the you guys to go check out the uh the old Patreon page. Patreon page is what makes it happen. I know, I gotta get back to OC. I know. Ha ha ha! Uh Josh thought he was gonna watch the whole live stream. He 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 accepted my challenge that he was gonna watch the whole live stream. But alas, Josh has a life. Back to life, buddy. Good for check. Thanks for checking in, Daily Mountain Bike Rider. Nate Barker, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. A little act of kindness like that makes the makes the dream keeps the dream alive. Carbon handle. These carbon handlebars are good, man. They're pretty solid. T Cal Calp Sky. T Calp Sky. I'm not going to get the new XTR. Well, eh, I never say never, but there's no, I don't really see a reason to get the new XTR. Personally, I like my SRAM Eagle. This is a little torque wrench thing. So on most pieces of carbon, like this carbon handlebar, there's a little thing that says right here, it says four to six Newton meters. So I just set this little torque wrench thing 
to five Newton meters. So when you crank it, it automatically stops when you hit that. <laughs> and now the nut is stuck in the... <laughs> but uh, that's slightly remedial, but I know there's some people here learning. I, I'm, uh, I'm still learning, working on my bike as well. Oh, ride the Mega Avalanche. Oh, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Okay, so that feels good. Lots of random uh, seeds and stuff from riding Venetia territory with Paul the Puncher. Newton's third law and listening along, multitasking. Are you in class getting a lecture? <laughs> Jack Can, what's up, dude? Jans, thank you for the two euro. Super chat, dude. It is mucho apreciado. This is so much cleaner now. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten the cable up a little more. I I want to, I do want to, to strip the housing and shorten it up, but I'm not gonna do it. I just gotta make sure this is nice and tight. You know I got that side sip going. I Jens, I don't have plans with single track sampler, like concrete plans, but you guys know there's all, it's always going to happen. It's always going to go down. We're always going to be riding together. So uh, just just keep staying tuned. And when, when our schedules get linked up, it's always magical. Ha <laughs> ha, you did not see a mountain lion in uh, Rockville. I, I refuse to believe it. This lever feels so nice. Bam! Thanks, Trent. I'm glad you appreciate the videos I've been putting out. I'm always working hard, and especially on Patreon, you guys kind of get deluged with the videos before the YouTube stuff, and then you kind of have to wait, and then I kind of put out a ton of videos, and then you kind of have to wait, but I think you guys uh, are digging those videos. This remote lever feels so nice right now. Cool. I think the cable's gonna be a little rattly, just the, with the way I've got it, but uh, we'll get there. Another Nolan in the chat. It's Nolan time. I have a whole series on fat biking uh, UK in the snow. It was cool. It's differently. Haha, <laughs> what's up, Paul? Make sure that cable is tight as possible, brother. Good good call. I was just actually wrenching on it even even more. That's something we don't want to to mess up on the trail. And actually, I'm gonna get my third hand tool and uh, mess with it. That Mega Avalanche is made for me. I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> Favorite JavaScript library. Um, crap. I wish I could have... I was going to say React, but I, I really... Uh, I should have thought of something more stupid. Something more in, in crowd, if you're asking that question. One zip tie will take care of any rattling. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Okay, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Brian Kennedy across the countries. Yeah, YouTube is my job, man. It's it's a it's an amazing thing. What what did I just drop? Where did it go? You guys make it possible. Those two dollar super chats. The uh, people on Patreon, YouTube ad money, all that stuff. If there was an ad before the video, I apologize, but it's definitely part of my income. I'm a, I am five foot ten inches tall, and the Orbea Rayon is a large. Old Ghost Trail was pretty cool. It's kind of more of a multi-day uh, uh, backpacking kind of thing. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome back, Remus. Remus. Making sure this cable is there. We go. Oh, but see, ah, that's the thing. If you're if you're pulling the cable through too hard, then you're act actuating the actuation. So actually, I'm not going to do that. Ha ha ha, Kesha, jeez. Ha ha ha. And you were at a Kesha concert last night. There you go. <laughs> Everything comes full circle, Bird's View. <laughs> Mr. Matthew Gunning. 
with the, with the, where's the DVO? Got it. All right, goodbye, Wolf MTB. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Always glad to have you here. Haha, <laughs> Jacob, watching the live stream makes your waiting for new frame less painful. That's good. Dude, Nathan, I need to get to Noble Canyon. If that's what you're talking about, Noble Runs, Noble Canyon is something I need to do. Ciao. See ya, Flavio. I thought you were going a long time ago. My rear suspension valve. What did you end up doing? I don't know what you mean. The cap? I might miss your uh, response, though. Sorry. Okay. Feeling good about this. <laughs> no seat needed. You can just use your leg. <laughs> uh, DVO didn't fit the paint scheme. You're right about that. You know I'm all about all about that superficiality. All right, see you later, Dre. Glad you checked in. I've not ridden the Kingdom Trails yet, man. I'm running out of water, but guess what? I prepared. I prepared this time. Yeah, Matthew, I do want to try to hit like Marquette and Duluth along with uh, Copper Harbor. David, that's awesome, dude. I love hearing that. The fat biker. That weight loss battle. It's always a battle, man. We all have our battles, whether they're uh, on the outside or on the inside. Jason Bennett, what's up, dude? I was just uh, actually talking about you guys, uh, OC Trails, and how bad I need to get back there and how welcome you guys made me feel when I was... You know, I wasn't the best rider back then, but I freaking I, I think I did okay, and uh, I just felt I felt felt very nice. It was awesome. A tap in the shed, got to run water. <laughs> this is the best pouring channel on the UK. Oh yeah, just water, just water. I would I would never drink anything but water. Kiddick, kid doc, kid doc, missing the UK. I am missing the UK, man. That was a freaking cool experience. It was, it was nice. It was so cool to, to be there and be welcome. Like, trails are amazing, right? But people, it's always about people. Like, people will always surprise you and you feel so welcome in certain places. It's amazing. Okay, this is killing me, so I'm gonna put on the saddles. But I have to go get the saddle, I have to get the saddle from the Bronson, so. Uh, we're here, baby. We're here, we're hanging out. No end in sight. Tim, how to get stickers. Stickers are kind of a tough thing for me because I'm gone so much. Maybe one day I'll be able to sell stickers on my website for cheap, but I don't have anyone that will send out the stickers or pack the stickers. So basically I just do, if you see me on the trail, ask for a sticker and I'll give you one. Or if uh, you're on Patreon. So the Patreon sticker thing, it works really well. And uh, it, that's how it rolls for now. Let's get the Bronson down. I should be British instead, Jackie. Is that what you think? Ah, tried to do the British accent. See, it changes so much. Ah, yeah, it changes so much. I was hanging out with Paul. I was, my accent was getting okay, but uh, once it goes, it uh, it goes. Putting, taking on and taking off a saddle is like always seems to be a lot more difficult than it should be. Hey Zach, I see your question about the final tour of the of the shop. Maybe later I could do a little uh, tour of the, the Nuggetorium. I think it's a good idea. But uh, for now, I'm gonna try to keep working on the bike. Norway would be awesome. Smithy, <laughs> 2000. You're right. Maybe if I get to 2,000 patrons, I can uh, 
get there. Oh, okay, Trails with Matt. I, I, so, on the Orbea Rayon, when you have an air shock on here, and I don't have an air shock now, so I've got the coil. When you have an air shock, there was like a little, a little nub that sticks out right here, and it catches your, your friggin', uh, your knee pads. Supposedly, you can, you can like pop off the, the, the container. What do they call that? They call that something, and and rotate it. I haven't done that. I don't know. So it kind of sucks. The Nuggeturium. <laughs> Paul's so boring to ride with. He has no opinions on anything. He's completely silent while riding. Paul was definitely fun. We uh, he uh, we did this Mr. Toad's Wild Ride in South Lake Tahoe, and it was a fun one. And the climb up is like all this hard technical jank, and uh, I'm like I was attempting all this like kind of crazy rock climbing stuff, and him in the background was so good. Oh, oh, oh my! It was so good, man. It was so good. Good, I'm glad you enjoy Paul's vids, Cranky Trails. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Jason. I, I, I want to get back. I want to get back. What's up to Brazil, Sergio? Welcome aboard, my man. All right, Kent, good night in Sweden. Hey, Google, what time is it in Sweden right now? The time in Sweden is 10.50 p.m. Okay, okay. Almost 11 o'clock at night. I see. I see you guys. Ah, I went the wrong way. I have ridden in Oregon, Hardtail Havoc. I did the Oak Ridge, Oregon, but that's all I've done so far. Paul is Paul the Punter. If you Google Paul the Punter, he will come up. And he just spent a week with me. So we're going to have videos on my channel, videos on his channel, and it's going to be fun stuff. But that is... Still a while out because I've got a got video to edit. What's up, Rab? I see you there. I saw you asking about my address. I don't really, I don't know. You could email me if you want my address. It's very much, uh, it's not the address to my house. It's the address to my UPS box. But basically, too many people already have my address and too many people send me a bunch of shit I don't need. So that's, that's the long and short of it. <laughs> Nice, Brian Arts. Yeah, man, I'm live streaming, baby. It must be, uh... Hey, Google, what time does the sunset, sunset in the Netherlands? The sun will set at 10.07 p.m. 10.07 p.m.? That's awesome. Hey, Google, what time does the sun set in Norway? The sun will set at 10.44 p.m. Okay, interesting. You guys enjoying the Google Assistant? But, you know, if it's something cool, it, just always email me, because there is stuff I need, there is stuff I could use, but, uh, Rab, if you, if you want to uh, mail me something. I don't want to be too much of a dick about it, but that's kind of, that's kind of who I am. <laughs> this is a sick shirt, it's from Downeyville. Yuba Expeditions. They, uh, they're kind of the people that really, the Sierra Buttes Trail Stewardship, they're the people who really make Downeyville something amazing. So, uh, when you buy a shirt like this, it supports them. The Zohan, been around from the beginning. Ha <laughs> ha, he wasn't even subscribed, he was never even logged in. <laughs> uh, cool. Huh, not sure what you guys are saying yes about. I think I made a joke previously. Okay, so, saddle's off. Let's get this bike back up. Oh, the Google Assistant. That's what you guys were talking about. <laughs> I love facts, you know? And that's what's so cool about having all you guys here from all these different places, that I can actually learn a little bit about, like, your, your countries and your time zones and what time it is and always kind of have a, uh, an idea of what's going on. Oh shoot, oh no.
Good night from Sweden. <laughs> cool. This is definitely a little bit of a lag on my stream today. I think I might have set it up uh, wrong, but that's okay because when I have the stream set up to have like almost no lag, if the internet goes out, it kind of messes it up. So it's kind of like almost like a buffering thing where the stream can always buffer so it won't just black out. So I think so far we haven't had any big blackouts. It is currently 81 degrees in the shed right now. Hey Google, what's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 81 degrees Fahrenheit equals 27.222 degrees Celsius. 27.222 degrees Celsius in the shed right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it that we can be uh, multicultural up in this bitch. Okay, so it turns out these saddle rails go with the dropper posts. I'm going to pop this thing off. Yeah, I know. Fitting a saddle to the bike is a pain in the butt, man. Always a pain in the butt. I'm gonna clean up the saddle a little bit. Dirtiest friggin' thing there is. Brian's generic ass cleaner. I need to get, so I've been talking about this forever, but I need to get a design for Brian's generic ass cleaner and then try to sell some stickers for that. But if I'm gonna try to sell stickers, ah, it all comes back to fulfillment. So, okay, I'm gonna figure out, I gotta figure it out. Worldwide cyclery has been pretty cool. Like. Uh, you guys know, there, I had my gray plain, pain and pleasure shirt on Worldwide Cyclery, and then I just gave them a bunch and they fulfill it, so they, they do the whole shipping thing. Maybe I'll do that with stickers, but I don't know if it's worth their while to do like a $2 sticker. I'll have to ask them. If it is worth their while to do a $2 sticker, then we'll do stickers and uh, we'll make it happen. Grease your rails. Good, good friggin' call, Waddy Legend. Dude, the, uh, one of the bikes that I was riding, no, I think it's actually, no, it's my bike, the Orbea. The, the friggin' seat rails are so fucking greasy. <laughs> Ola, I've seen you say Norway like three times now, dude. I get it. Norway. About 90 degrees now in the bayou, Louisiana. Haha. <laughs> I've already ridden Downeyville, Tim. I've ridden it a couple times now. Check out my uh, my Strava. That's the best way to know where I've been. There's no way to know where I'm going, though. Well, Patreon. If I have a group ride, if I have a meetup, it'll be on Patreon. More and more, it's tougher, to, tougher and tougher to pull off. <laughs> Generic ass cleaner. It could have a couple different meanings, for sure. You're right about that. Ditlev with another <laughs> Ditlev. I love. I I think you just you dig uh, throwing out the super chats without any message, but it's always nice to kind of get to know you guys and kind of to, to hear from you. But I, if you want to be the anonymous donor, the anonymous benefactor, I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the the Danish kroners. Hey Google, tell me some facts about Denmark. Wikipedia says that Danishes were originally brought to Denmark by Austrian bakers. Danishes? I want to hear about the country, not... Oh, we don't need to boil someone's country down to just a... Just a, a friggin' a food group. There's more to the Danish than just Danishes. Thank you, Remus. I saw you say I was awesome earlier as well. I appreciate it. <laughs> the, the GAC, dude. Black, Blake, that's friggin' so good. Running that GAC. <laughs> I have not hit the Fullerton loop. Put it on the list. Oh, did I leave my flash on on my phone? Ha 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 ha! Holy crap! Dude. <laughs> Thank you, sneaky lizard. I'll charge my phone up over here as well. Spray and pray. Ask Cleaner, take those nugs off. <laughs> Uh, my favorite descent at Cody Brennan, Lamb Chop, that was, was it Dragon's Tail, Serpent's Tail, something like, oh, maybe it was, whatever the one was, like the rocks, whatever one I used at the very beginning of my video, the very beginning of the Cody Brennan trail, or video, that was my favorite descent, it was awesome. I gotta make my uh, font a little bit bigger on the screen here, Danish bacon. <laughs> Let's make that font nice and giant. 
No, no, no. Hold on, we're getting there. Let's let's uh let's take a second here. Let's just here we go. I'm getting there. Dragon's back. I think it, maybe it was a. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can buy this shirt online. I think you have to go to Downeyville and actually buy it there. It's it's an amazing shirt. All right, Cranky Trails, go hit the trails. I may be here when you get back. I may not be. No guarantees. A man's got to man's got to live his life. A man's got to edit his videos. Goodbye, SB Pro. I know Kennedy is an Irish name. Hi, I'm an Irishman. It's in there somewhere, deep down inside. My heritage. Oops. Sorry. I do want to come back to Quebec in the summertime. Very much so. Iceland? I definitely want to come to Iceland. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's kind of always the same old thing, you know? It's like I answer these questions like, yes, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go everywhere. Where the hell did I put the saddle? Hi, David. <laughs> what toy did I give my Kinder Egg? I don't remember, but it wasn't that much of a, uh, it wasn't much of a toy. Oh, grease, grease on the, the saddle rails. What's up, Jano? Jano Paul coming in from Spain. The Fox Trifecta. Yep, it is the Fox Trifecta. The tourist uh, gimbal and cheap and affordable really doesn't go all in one. So that's kind of the, the bummer about gimbals. You got to spend the money and get the uh, get a decent one. All right, how about a little bit of maybe a little bit of slick honey on the rails for grease? I do have a couple different hand-up gloves. <laughs> Awesome, Sergio. What's up, dude? Pedal Epico. I like that name. That's why the gloves are sold out, because I've got them all. <laughs> there is the new BKXC gloves, the Trail Explorers. If you've seen those, I should have them out here just to show off. But there's always a link in the description, and I, I do my best to actually update those, uh, those links in the description. So if you're ever curious like what, what new stuff is out, don't use Slick Honey. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Just the regular uh, uh, blue grease, Joseph? It's more for sliding, sliding stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Good, good idea. Somebody said grease the seat rail so it doesn't, uh, doesn't make as much noise. I'd like to hear other opinions. <laughs> yeah, Philippe, it is. What is my opinion on the Fox transfer? I think it's pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I actually have to use it first, though, Ditlev. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Ooh, Blake, I like that idea. Blue Grease. Okay. Thank you, Wadi Legend. Thank you, my man. I take uh, Wadi Legend's... Uh, advice wholeheartedly the man makes knives for a living he's a knife man I do have a website there's lots of links in the description to my website I'm just gonna put on a thin coat just kind of got my gloves and I'm dabbing it on nice and nice and thin just nothing too crazy Thick. We'll see if that works. I don't use a bike computer, Jason. I just uh, use my, my iPhone. Fiber grip also, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go with the grease. I think the, the more educated among us. And we'll see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And uh, we'll go for it. Oh, hey. In, in libris, in libris, in libris, 
Libertus13. Just got into mountain biking. Thanks for all the awesome videos. Definitely enjoying this live stream. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Kashima coated seat rails, baby. I am not, I don't have plans to make a BKXE shirt with hand up gloves yet, but uh, I see that the, uh, they've got the, uh, they've got the, uh, the apparel now. I want to, I'm going to get my hands on the, uh, I'm thinking about 20 things at once, so that's why it may seem like I have uh, Alzheimer's. But uh, I want to get my the tank top. The tank top looks awesome. It never ends with uh, trying to get this thing in. I haven't ridden Pollock Pines, Jason. I definitely want to. I don't want to take this whole assembly off. I want to do this without taking the whole thing off. Definitely conflicting reports in the comments about uh, greasing the uh, the rails, but I'm gonna try it. I I hate the uh, hate squeaky rails. Okay, let's see how far I can get this without popping off the nuts. I wouldn't want these nuts to pop off. Oh, there we go. Oh, did I did I do it? Did I get it? <laughs> I have actually seen some cool stuff from Kansas. Sweet. Okay. Slide it in back first. You're right, Daryl. That was like the first time I've actually been able to uh, <laughs> put on a seat nice like that. What do we got? This is a four or a three, maybe. It's a four my spinners out there. It works. Got him. It's funny, just the slight delay in the chat. Like I really like the, the, the having the chat a little less delayed because then I really have that, that, that really fast feedback, but it works. We're still good. We're still good. Just, just roughing. I'm just roughing it in right now, trying to spin it in. Seat rails in the jump. They do have conflicting colors. You're right. What can I do? I'm gonna spray paint the uh, the rails black. And, uh... This is the WTB Silverado saddle. Dude, squids, this must be your first friggin' live stream, man, because the terribleness, the terribleness of this technician, shout out to Eric No Front Breaks, is here. Ha <laughs> ha what's up, Hollis? Good to see you, dude. Let's max it out. Holy moly, Christer. Christ, Christer, thank you for supporting me. I know that shit isn't isn't cheap to cheap ship to all kinds of different uh, places, but I'm I'm hoping the shirt was worth it. I've talked a couple times about the tires. Uh, I had a, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll repeat myself. Why not? Why not? You're here. The uh, Hans Domp up front has been awesome. Or no, wait. The Magic Mary up front has been awesome. But uh, the Hans Domp in the rear just wore out way too quick. So I still got the Magic Mary in the front. But uh, I'm, I've got my minions back on in the rear. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Squids. MTB Buddies got the, M the YouTube channel going. Awesome. I think I've been to Wellington, New Zealand. <laughs> Go back to my old videos. I'm pretty sure Wellington was one of the ones I did. I have not been in Sweden yet. <laughs> we want to get some nice, some nice good scratches on this stanchion. You know what I mean. <laughs> Ryan, Lone Ranger. Me arse! 
Me saddle. It's not quite up to the task. Hell yeah. It's going down. Meal and timber. Yep, it's all matching now, baby. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Definitely a couple creeks on the bike right now. You guys see these tan lines? They're out of control. Oh man, this is nice. This is, this is what it's all about, boys. Bam! Actually, it looks like it's pretty straight, too. Okay, we're doing it. What's up, Aaron? Good to see you. Checking in about uh, uh, wipe down the rails. Okay, I'm gonna wipe down the rails now. <laughs> Wadi Legend, you're. I'm, I'm really glad that uh, I'm able to see all your various chats come through because I trust you very much. <laughs> hey Clark, go ride the Suicide Trail in Simi Valley and tell me if it's overkill for my type of riding. I would like to I would like to hear your opinion on that. Sure, we'll torque it down. Why not torque it down? Dun, 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 dun. I didn't miss my bike because uh, that orange stage six was awesome. I wasn't so stoked on. Uh, on the, the Hope bike, but the Orange Stage 6 was so good. Sweet. All right, Duncan. Checking in from Australia. Where are you, where are you in Australia, Duncan? Curious. <laughs> Brazil in the house. I did not get to Makara Peak or Mount Victoria. Wait, did I do Mount Victoria and uh, Wellington? Ah, shoot. I don't remember. New Zealand trip was a blur. You'll have to go back in my old videos. Yeah, Dallin, I, I do want to get to Wyoming. There's definitely some, some great stuff there. Daniel, I think that's always the question. Something more expensive is always going to be more durable, hopefully. And hopefully it's not just superficial. But sometimes a lot of the things that are more expensive are just superficial because they look cooler and other people are into them. So you got you to gotta do you and uh, do the research. <laughs> What's up, Flats Out? I like that name. I like that logo, too. Hollis Prince, thank you for the $4.99 super chat, my man. You may have meant to put a message in there. Uh, hopefully, if you make a message pretty soon, I'll be able to see it. Callum, thank you. Hit the road, Jack. Okay, we're two hours in. It's just a quick two-hour job. No problemo. I, uh... <laughs> I'm getting cold feet on cutting the cable, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> ah, these are Wolf Tooth Fat Paw Grips, and I always love them. I always love me the Wolf Tooth Fat Paw Grips. My buddy John got me uh, the orange Wolf Tooth, like, eh, not Wolf Tooth, the same company that makes these, makes their, have Red Monkey, they have their own, like, lock-on grips, and I'll have to try those out eventually. Foam grips are a little different in the wet. They're a little more slippery, but uh, it's uh, it's good. <laughs> I see a Polish guy with a with a hard to pronounce name. I like that analogy. We've got silver and gold, second and first place. Put some of this back. The uh, Nuggetorium's a bit of a mess. It's a I have foam grips because I like the feel. I really like them. I really like them. That's like my hands were getting destroyed in the UK. Guy was saying that maybe it was the Renthal fat bar. I think it was also the grips, but my hands were getting just so hurt. And, you know, being back on my bike doing even gnarlier stuff the past couple weeks, and my hands have been A-OK. -okay. Also, the length of the descents and stuff uh, are... Uh, Always a factor. Okay, there's no videos of Wellington. I don't know if you've if you've watched all of them. <laughs> Try to say your Jaja Jaja Zadar. Try to say your name. 
I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna snip. We're gonna snip the cable. But never fear, I've got a whole box of other cables and stuff, so what, what can you do? All right, concrete head, hit the, hit the, hit the hay. Nice. Hollis uses the red monkey grips. Cable snippers. Thank you, Mitchell. I'm, I'm glad that you you like watching the vids, man. Go to Wales, Joe. Come on, Joe. Where, what? <laughs> well, are you under a rock, my friend? Okay, let's get in here and do a little clipping. Haha, <laughs> cool. Okay, I gotta get to Wellington, though. You're right, then. Cable has been clipped. Ah, oh, it's like all frayed. I should have put that friggin' uh, that ferrule on. I kind of, I just wanted to clip it really tight. So we'll see how that goes. I like this lever though. Haha, <laughs> MTB buddies, thank you for the four ninety nine, four pound ninety nine super chat. Paying for the inspiration. What's up, Happy? Good to see you, dude. Hey yo, -y. <laughs> hey yo, -y. thank you, MTB buddies. Always appreciated. Post is up. Post is up. I have I have the seat all the way down. The post is fully extended, but I have the seat uh, down. That was one thing that. Uh... Oh, I, I see what you mean. Like uh, I should have had the post out a little bit. I mean, I should have pushed the cable in before I snipped it. It seems like there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. So we're good. We're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. <laughs> Greetings from the land of mosquitoes. I cut the cord, baby. I always keep a cable, I keep an extra derailleur cable in my bag as well. So if I need to do trail side maintenance, I will do it. I don't have any suggestions for beginner mountain biking. I'm sorry, man, it sucks. I It's just not uh, the realm. I got a bike from REI. That was that was my my first bike. Oh, that's what Wadi Legend. That's what you meant. You twist it first and then you crimp it. Okay. Next time, you guys in your uh, awesome. You guys are awesome with your feedback on this stuff. Like I seriously appreciate it. Obviously, sometimes it's like, you know, you don't know who to trust and who who actually has experience. But in the like the overall 90% of you guys have worked on your bikes, you know what you're doing, and you guys give me awesome friggin' feedback. Yeah, sunny, sunny Shred Life. I've seen some really good feedback about using the air compressor to put on these crazy, uh, these, these crazy grips. I didn't do anything else but Glentris and Interleaf and uh, Jack. I'll get back, hopefully. I'm a horse. Keep it down, brother. Keep it down. <laughs> Lowercase. <laughs> I see Mitchell. It's there. That's easy. That's easy to say. Okay, so boom. We've got the post flying up at a thousand miles an hour. It's uh it's probably just about right, actually. Perfect. That's one thing I noticed about the orange. The orange was like even better because the dropper post was uh, was very tall. So on the orange, I could get my dropper post all the way to the bottom and it was totally, hey, what's up Topsy, good to see you. Uh, it was totally out of the way. So then when I got back on my bike, I was like, oh, you could feel the seat still there. Like the orange stage six, I could slam the hell out of that seat. It was good, the seat was gone. And so I could get through that steep stuff so much better. So uh, it's sweet. Sweet. Okay. So that's, that's, oh no, Loctite on the back nut. Where is the Loctite? Why don't I have the Loctite accessible? I'm going to forget. I'm just going to have to say screw it for that. <laughs> Philippe, launch a hot dog from the dropper and catch it. Well, we can try. I've got some Nature Valley bars. I'll do half of a Nature Valley bar. These things have so much freaking crumbly stuff going on. Okay. All right. <laughs> the 
It's gonna okay. It's gonna launch up. It's gonna hit me in the face. Let's okay. Let's do a practice run. Oh, that was not explosive at all. Maybe I left let off the thing. Well, that was a, a failed experiment, I would say. <laughs> exactly, the Loctite. The Loctite's never around when you need it. Okay, I I feel good about this. I got the the old saddle on, which I prefer over this the Sella Italia saddle that came with it. It was okay. It wasn't great. Oh, okay, Chris, Chris George, good call. Let's uh, let's mitigate the brake cable rub. <laughs> Nature Valley, aka uh, carpet destroyers. <laughs> it's so true, man. Thank you, Cameron. Welcome aboard for your first live stream. What can we do? So, someone suggested loosening up the brake cable and, and moving it up. So, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's mess around with that while we're here. <laughs> Specialized post would uh, bounce it off the ceiling. Mitchell, yeah, man. I've been to South Africa. Go back. Look at my old video. Search for BKXC South Africa. You will be highly entertained i hope because that stuff was awesome <laughs> yep alex's drop proposed would have knocked it into outer space all right so i want to try to give you guys a good angle but this is uh not the best i'll put it in the stand <laughs> thanks felix i'm glad you're uh, digging it Good night, IPR. Holy moly. The tire was in there. Man, that transfer install is so freaking easy. <laughs> okay, make sure not to loosen it more than 1 16th. Ho, ho, ho. We're gonna have some, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have some friggin' some adventures here, I think. So, if you guys can tell, it's, it's not gonna be easy to see. It's not gonna be straight on. Okay, so. This cable rubs against the frame. It's already damaging the frame. So I'm going to attempt to slightly loosen this. Loosen this just enough. 1 16th of a turn. So I can move it. And uh, brake fluid is going to spray out everywhere. And uh, it's going to be great. I have not installed Cush Core yet. Oh, that wasn't enough to get it loose. I'm tightening it back up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Actually, tightening it is making it move up. And it looks like there's actually a gap there now. I had mastic tape on there and it didn't do shit. It wore right through the mastic tape like immediately. So I'll reapply some mastic tape possibly and uh Ooh, take your pads out. That that's not a bad idea. You're gonna do that, but uh yeah, we're good. We're good. I think that's enough. <laughs> Install Kushcore this stream. Oh hell no. I, I need a, that's, <laughs> so I did have a protective, uh, I, I put mastic tape right here and it, it, it chewed through it. So it's quite interesting that uh, if it's doing enough to wear, wear through the paint and the front, like the frame, like working into the frame, it's quite a, uh, it's got quite a thing going for it. Know what I mean? Do have some Velcro. I don't think it's is it's sticky. Oh, it is sticky back Velcro. Okay, I'll we'll play with that. Good night, Ditlev. 
it, it was very cool to have you on the stream. Thank you for the support. The, the support is always appreciated. Super chatting it. I have the, so let me see if I can find the, Velcro is okay, but uh, yeah, mastic tape is its own thing. Uh, you, you spelled it right, Cody. So if you Google mastic tape, you'll see what it is. I have some of those friggin' uh, carbon stickers, lizard skins. It's just when you have everything arranged so perfectly in uh, in the in your shed, putty stuff. Oh, Su Suguru, yeah, that that's a good one. I always forget about that stuff. That Suguru stuff seems so useful. A puncture repair patch, nice, really nice. Let's see if I have it. Let's see. Take a knife. If I go to the garage, I might also find my Loctite. Oh, cool, Matt. You saw a sticker, a BKXC sticker. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go to the garage. I'll be back. Uh, in the meantime, where are you guys from? I want, I'll want. i come back and read it. France, South Africa, South Carolina, Germany. We've got a, a an a few in the chat. SoCal all day. South UK. North Wales. The Wales flag always comes up with like a black thing on it. It's so weird. It doesn't it's like not always in there. Dolby Forest. Southern Indiana. Bulgaria. What's up, Pavel? That's awesome. Roseville. England, Lithuania, Fullerton, Poland, Folsom, Fruta, New Zealand. Kiwis down there. Got the Kiwis. Devon. Newcastle upon time. Dolby Forest. Why do you keep saying Dolby? Is, it, is Dol Dolby with an O different than Dolby with an A? Uh, I'm confused. Ha 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 ha, Zach. It's going to take an hour. Tyler, you're spamming, buddy. You're spamming. We don't do spam here. This is BKXC. You can go spam other channels, but we don't do spam here. I've got no patience for you. Humboldt County Joe. Awesome. Harrogate, Andy. <laughs> What's up, Andy? That's cool. Harrogate. Yorkshire. So I have these iron, these uh, lizard skins leather. These are like probably five or six years old. Got a bunch of them. Let's put it on. Serbia. The name checks out. Stowe Market. Okay. So, oh wow, there's a couple of them in here. So let's uh, let's put this one on. Let's see if it works through it or not. Devin, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm always getting triggered, Vlad. You know I got no patience for these numb nuts. I swear, it's it, there's something about like being a hard ass on the chat and uh and like i don't in the comments i don't even have to delete that like i used to delete comments and i used to like but like it seems like now i only get very very random negative comments and they're not that often and uh somehow we've we've made a crazy ass community here that is positive and not full of a bunch of assholes but i think part of it is just me being a hard ass on people and uh Basically, you either conform or go go somewhere else. And I think plenty of people probably go somewhere else. So that's how it works. Just be just be a natural, normal person. All right. 
So let's get in here. Aussie man. Oi, oi, oi. That's it right there. That'll be perfect. Got no focus. I got no focus. West Yorkshire. Huddlesfield. I, I saw someone say take off the mounting bolts to make it easier. I it's, it's a good idea. I'm just, I just hate I just hate unscrewing stuff and then <laughs> E thuggin. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Matt can't take it. Can't take the heat. That's awesome. Good to hear that, Renzo. It's it's still quite ridiculous that oh no, okay. That I can kind of be on a first name basis with a lot of you guys that comment and uh recognize your avatars and your names. I, I may have put this a little too far south. Let's see if it'll, let's go up a little bit. Paradise Royale, dude, Joe, tell me about Paradise Royale. Leave a comment on any of my videos after you ride Paradise, Paradise Royale. I, uh, I've got to go there. Ha <laughs> Yorkshire. Yorkshireman. That's an awful accent. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, goddamn UK accent, man. <laughs> Rage Against the Machine. Look at that. That is solid. We'll see if it wears it out. Dun, dun. Axe Man, what's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Yeah, if anyone has a mystery creek in their bike or has work to do on their bike, this is definitely, my live streams are always a good companion. Just have them up on a screen or on your laptop or even on your phone. Yeah, I, de I degreased the rails, the seat rails. Degreased the frame. I don't, I don't know if there was much grease in the frame. I got videos to edit, Joe. I got videos to edit. I'm back home. I've been riding so much. If you guys saw my Strava, and obviously I missed a couple of them as well, a couple of rides. It always happens. <sighs> nice, Matt. All right, take it easy. I'm still on, Ken, but not for long. Let's do a Nuggetorium tour, and then I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to get back to work. But this has been solid. It's uh, two and a half hours flew by like friggin' nothing. I love these live streams. I love hanging out with you guys. I love uh, just getting to chat. I feel like it's just great. I, I've got a lot of com YouTube comments to catch up on. I haven't responded to a couple, a lot of the YouTube comments, but I'll be there. You guys know me. You guys know how I roll. My drive train is SRAM Eagle X01. Okay, let's do a Nuggetorium. Uh, a Nuggetour. Nuggetorium. I'll get the long cable. Maybe I'll start. I don't reply to DMs on Instagram, so you've got to send me an email. I know that's harder to figure out, but even on Instagram, there's a button that says email. On YouTube, there's an about page that has a contact with my email. If you go to my website, all the links are in the description, there's a contact for my email. So get, get in to my email inbox. I hate Instagram DMs because it's like a text. I don't want to text with you. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going out, we're going out. What's a Nuggetorium? Oh. Shoot, the cable's not long. Okay, well, there's a sign that says Nuggetorium. Okay, so we're coming in and we've got my helmet holders. That's one of my old helmets that I let Paul the Puncher borrow because his bike didn't ride. You'll see that in videos. My other bag, my normal Osprey Raptor bag hangs there. My trail tools are there, but they're in my bag right now because I was actually out doing some, some trail work. I've got my little rack of kind of stuff that I want. I, I might actually change that up because there's not that much stuff to hang. The tires are too heavy to hang. I've got a bunch of extra tires that I bought from Worldwide Cyclery, like ready to go. Uh, I've got like three extra chains right there. I've got my Google Wi-Fi. Uh, my maps that I wanted to put pins in, but the friggin' pins fall out all the time, so they're just maps. My skylight, I've got my bike holders, hang my bikes up. We've got my tools, I've got my 100,000 subscriber. Is Loctite here? The Loctite is not there. 
<laughs> Good call though. I've got uh, so my silver play button, my top of the world sign from the Whistler gift shop, gift shop, a rack of BKXE gloves, collector's item, poured them all. All my various tools, some other t uh, stickers and things. My sign that Justin Heidi helped me make. It's so friggin' awesome. Got all these flies in here. Some other tools. Uh, power strip that goes under, kind of hidden away. I've got my Ryobi charging stuff, my various Ryobi tools. My, my Bone Storm, my copy of Bone Storm, buy me Bone Storm. Tell your par parents to buy you Bone Storm or go to hell. If you're a Simpsons fan, you'll uh, remember that. Hey, Ray, thank you for the $10 super chat, dude. Thanks for the entertainment while I'm stuck working from home. If you can install a dropper in two hours, I'm not sure I can keep calling these marathons. Kush core in. Put Kushcore in the dropper. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't actually put marathon in the title today because I, I figured that it would uh, not be a marathon. Got my various uh, my wires, cable housing, bearing tool, sealant, random stuff, stickers. This is like all my stickers are in here that uh, someday I will put just tons and tons stickers. E47, Trails, Dusty Betty, Ride a Tire, Hand Up Gloves, BKXC, Redemption 17, just that. Look at all these stickers. How many Empire 47 stickers do I have? What the hell is going on there? Flight Chops. Oh yeah, I met that guy at Patreon conference. Pat, Bikers from Sedona. Oh god, I wasn't centered on this. Sorry. Okay. We'll, we'll get the stickers. I want to put the stickers on the door over there. Yeah, that's the tour. And uh, I've got my lights. What's up, Dakota? Tag along. You are, uh, you're just missing it. You're missing the end. I do need to make a sticker wall, and the sticker wall will happen. Got my rails to mount my camera up high. I didn't have the, the high mount today. I've got my lights. Hey, Google, turn the lights off in the Nuggetorium. Sorry, I don't understand. I said it wrong. Hey, Google, turn the lights off in the shed. Okay, turning off the Nuggetorium lights. See, she calls it the Nuggetorium after. And uh, yeah, some various other random stuff. Hey, <laughs> tag along. Dakota's on the friggin' uh, lift at the bike park right now. That's awesome. That is so cool. Zach with the, the Canadian $5. Newer Patreon men member. Thanks for the great content. Awesome. I hope you guys on Patreon are enjoying. It is an actual awesome thing. I always feel really good about the amount of content that I crank out on Patreon. Time and time and time again. I'm all about it. Making sure you guys get your videos. And I'm going to have my Patreon, my monthly Patreon Ask Me Anything podcast if this damn helicopter passes by. Flying right over my house. The ghetto bird, we call it here. <laughs> yeah, the new dropper post is on and I'm already clamping it. I'm already clamping it to the, to the stand. So, you know, it's good. So, yeah. Uh, there will be some uh, Patreon Ask Me Anything podcast coming up. I'll open that thread up soon on Patreon. You guys ask me whatever I want, and then I record the, uh, the, the podcast. Pancakes! Pancakes! <laughs> All right, Topsy. I'll see you on the trail. Thanks, everyone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut her down. This is a solid two hours and 40 minutes. The Kush Core will not happen tonight. That will be its own live stream. Who knows when? Maybe next week? Who, you know, you never know. I didn't get a goat. I didn't get a hold of the friggin' accessory cable. I must have thrown all my friggin' cables away. Ah, so stupid. But I do have two Evo gimbals that I need to send back to Evo for repairs. So maybe they'll, they usually send me fresh boxes back. And uh, then the magic of the battery pack. Goat uh, sent me this whole battery pack thing that I've always wanted to do. It's like, so you could charge up the gimbal and the GoPro through like a backpack. So we'll get there. All right, you guys. Thanks. Oh, just just friggin' saw the notification. That's all right. You'll see. You'll see it all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the trail. And take like 20 minutes to turn off the stream because I have to go over to my computer here. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. Okay. Bye.